All right, there we are. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How's you it going? See a little bit of Sandy's nose right here. <laughs> mm. Look at that little little doggy nose. So, how are we all? Oh. Well, you know, I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean guess, that's I guess I'm go- doing all right. That's positive. Um <laughs> I mean, so, so you 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 know you got your quest three like a day after I got mine, right? So you've tinkered with it this week, yeah. Yeah, uh not as much as I would have liked to. Yeah. But I mean uh, I, I I have touched it very little this week, mostly because like you know, I'm just trying to you know, get through rebirth, Final Fantasy Seven rebirth. <laughs> right? Yeah, you're. I I'm guess. a little behind you, but. Well, I mean, you yeah, finished. Exactly. I, yeah. I mean, don't say I, anything. I don't say anything. Um, don't even want to hear any impressions of of anything. Don't say, yeah. Well, you know, but it's going to be interesting to see what you think about. No, no, no I'm not. I'm not. No. Gonna, I'm not going to even say that. I'm just going to say that I finished it on Wednesday, I think. So, I mean, that's. I was, I was pretty ready. To I do. believe I am in the last open world section. Mm. So, which seems to be a little lighter weight than some of the, than the previous yes. ones. So, yeah, exactly. So, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you're, um, you know, you're, you're, you're closing in. You still got a little way closing to go. in, but, uh, based um, on, I'm, I'm still a good ways off of your your final time, time that you showed me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I finished. It was like 96 hours. Yeah, uh, I think I'm was... about 75. Okay. So, uh, but you know, it was it was uh, it's good. It's good. I was I was pretty ready to be done. Yeah. I, I decided like, hey, there's some extra more stuff I could do, but you know what, I'm kind of I'm ready. I'm ready yeah. to, uh, I mean, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly still having fun and enjoying it, but I'm also like, I would like to do other things. <laughs> yeah. Well, what kind of, once you get to a certain point and especially like in hours in the game and also just in life is like, well, you know, I'm ready to be done. I'm yeah. ready to be done. I mean, it's, it's very good, but it's long. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Yeah. And some of that's like, is our fault. I think is that we we've been both doing like all of the Intel in each area. Yeah. And, uh, I, I think that that was fine, especially because the characters are so much are fun to spend time with. Sure. And I guess, and it's, you know, each open world section section. I mean, it is, I I like how they're like, you know, sectioned off in these bite sized bits that, You know, and that's why you feel compelled. Like if it was all like, if all of those Intel pieces were like for a whole world, right. like I'd be like, no, no. Exactly. But like, since there's such bite sized chunks, it's like, oh, I can do this. But it, the time adds up. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dot saying if, if, it, if it was short, would you complain that it was too short? There, There's almost like no such thing as a game is too short, I think. As long as it's like, if the experience is, is good, yeah. I, it, it can be, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, look at like sign our wild hearts. It's an, it's an hour long. Really. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I mean, Final Fantasy seven like, rebirth not, offers not, way more in my opinion than is even necessary of a $70 game. Oh yeah. I mean, the, it, it's, it is very clear to me that they loved making it. Yeah. Which is, is like, they're just like, Oh, we got to include this. We got to include that. We got to do this. Yeah. You know, but like a game, it can be an hour long and you know, short games, those, they'll stick with you. And especially if it's an hour long, it it shouldn't be, Hey, I'm just going to play this. And then that's going to be it. It's over in an hour. Like you can play it again and again and again and again. Yeah. Is, is Corey's mic, Good for everyone. I'm just looking at the levels. And I can't. I can't tell if they're quite as high as mine. I mean, you might just need to move it closer. I don't know. 
Um, I mean, I it sounds know. good to me, but I'm just asking for the for the stream. For, for the chat. For the, for um, the people at home. Mr. Dude. Yeah, I, I don't know. Thinks I mean, we I can, all I can sound move a little great. Closer. KG sounds fine here. All right. Well, um, it's, I'm, oh, okay. I, I mean, oh, try is a little loud. Well, I mean, my, my volume should be what it always is. I mean, I'm looking at my levels. It's yeah. not, I mean, I can near. turn mine up. I can, I can adjust mine. But okay. Yeah. I don't need you to mess with anything. Okay, cool, cool. All right, well... Uh, got, I see the two pointy finger trilogies there. Oh, yes. Look at the size of those fingers. Look, look, look at them pointing fingers. <laughs> well, that's, like, be that's because we're working on uh, a video that we're going to get out, hopefully Friday, Saturday at the absolute latest. Yeah. We're working out a video about video game compilations. Yeah. Very old kind of ones and much thing. newer ones like these Ace Attorney ones. Yeah. And you know what? It, 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 I, I, th I think that I may have decided that the Sega Smash Pack on the Dreamcast, the sound emulation, might be the funniest thing in video games. <laughs> I saw you writing that por portion of your script earlier today. Like, yeah, like, I can't I can't stop myself from bringing it up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i i mean even though i said i say like oh i'm not gonna like cover any of like the the sega collections that i've talked about in the, in past videos i can't not bring up the sega smash pack because i i, I feel like i gotta dunk on it every every opportunity <laughs> that i have but it, like that's that's not the point of the entire section because there's a version of virtual cop 2 on there it's like a port of the PC game. It's it's really good. Yeah, but it's just packaged in with with the worst possible Sega Genesis sound emulation <laughs> of all time. So it, it is it's hilarious. Th this this being a Nintendo published game, you know, surprise surprise, version one using the latest version of the software. So yeah. good. Anyway, you and I are like in the same boat with this game. Like we just know nothing about. So that, that's the main reason I wanted to stream it is like, while I still know just not like, I don't even really know what kind of game this is. Like there was that early teaser game before the game even had, there was that early teaser before the game even had a title. They're just like, Hey, there's going to be a game starring princess peach. And it was like, she was walking around on a stage, but it was very unclear. Like, okay, what is this? And then they revealed it more properly several months later and, you know, I, I paid enough attention to the point where I'm like, okay, there's like, she gets these like out, outfits and transformations and stuff. But other than that, like, I wasn't paying that much attention. I don't really know what kind of game is. I don't know what the core gameplay is. I don't know if the gameplay just completely changes from level to level. I, yeah. I know nothing about this. So I thought, let's just go in on this as blind as possible. Let's let's see what it is. Let's find out together. Yeah, I'm 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 interested. Clearly, I'm interested. Uh, you uh, know, I, I I I took a chance on it mostly because it was part of um, you know. There's sometimes those deals where like when they announce like a bunch of Switch games all at once, it's like buy two get one, and like yeah. Best Buy or wherever, right? Yeah. And this was you know one of the options there. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't remember what the others were. Oh, Sandy, Sandy had to get off the couch and look at these toads. What are they doing, Sandy? Sparkle Theater. This has like a wow. somewhat more cinematic aspect ratio going on here. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, I didn't even realize there was a demo out of this. <laughs> didn't even realize it. Yeah, I saw, it, but at that point, I'm like, you know, I'm I I I just want to go into this blind, so. 
Yeah. Did it, not I mean, download especially it. if you've gone this this long, right? So it, it kind of came it, out it, this week that this is uh, this is like the first game directed by like the creator of the Going Mon series or one of the main people involved in its inception. Uh, Something like that. Like the yeah. first the first game that he directed uh, himself and. Like 25, 25 years. years I'm, I'm surprised he didn't do that uh, Mameda no Bakaru game. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I had thought about that. Because it seems that this is also from Good Feel, uh, as far as I could tell when I was looking around. So, I mean, that seems to me that they've really expanded. Um, uh, you know, if they were able to work on that wait 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 this was this was good feel i think so as well as that so Mameda new Bakaru. No Bakaru at the same time yeah so they must be like a pretty sizable operation at this point right i guess so yeah i mean i guess they're they're very consistent if nothing else right yeah i mean i i didn't love yoshi's crafted world anywhere near as much as uh well as I much as it. Wooly World, but I mean, but they they know how to they they know how to make a video game. Yeah, I you know I haven't played very far in the crafted world, but I I almost wonder if they just don't have a lot of interest in doing like sequels. Uh, you know, like they probably just didn't think, oh, we we do we really want to do another Yoshi game? Mm. You know. So maybe they didn't put their whole heart into it. Because Wooly World is, is amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's... It is... I, I think it's quite close to Yoshi's Island in quality, honestly. The Sour Bunch. I remember that name coming up in the Nintendo Direct. Yeah. But I was only like half paying attention <laughs> to that, so. Um, I think I read something saying that the, the frame rate like struggles to hit 30 in this. It's, oh, yeah. But I like, I don't know if that's. I mean, it... hope maybe it's unlocked and that means that it will run really good on Switch 2. Maybe. I mean, that Mameda no Bakaru was. Uh... Uh, What's wrong? Really, really problematic in that regard. Uh, yeah. Because it, it, it actually is over 30 most of the time, but it's not capped. And that's, that's Switch exclusive. I wonder if that'll get ported to anything else. Oh, I wonder because they actually published it themselves in Japan, so. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I guess it's hard to say. But they were like, they, they stuck really hard to 60 FPS and, and, crafted world which mm -hmm. is very impressive so well Wo woolly world was also also but yeah but i mean in some ways it was even more impressive with crafted world just because that was like a you know a unreal switch game yeah and i think this is unreal as well i think mameda no Bakaru, i think is unity but i'm not sure yeah I she's forget. like a real flat top when she doesn't have her, <laughs> her crown on. Right? you don't see that very often do you no, it it looks really it looks looks wrong, but it, I feel as though you could basically put anything on there. You could put a um, well, pour some drinks and she could walk around with them, balance on her head probably. I mean, I I think that that's one of the the ideas behind this game is like different transformations and outfits. Yeah, but maybe she just had that crown on. Like so, like so long, it has trained her hair to be completely like <laughs> down all the time. I'm definitely seeing some like I don't really notice it except when like the characters are moving, but there's definitely some some jutter uh, in this scene. It seemed fine. Uh, it seemed fine, like just walking around the entry area but that cutscene definitely was a little weird on the performance yeah. 
seems weird with no voice acting. See, it would be, to me, it would be weird with voice acting. Like, games with these characters just aren't fully voiced. I, I, I mean, don't... I'm sure she has, like... Oh, yeah, she's got her usual little... Oh! Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm assuming she, you know is essentially a silent protagonist here, which is, yeah, which is, you know, <gasps> is, I, is this, a, does this have any multiplayer in it? I mean, I, I feel like it's most really Nintendo good. games of this ilk tend to have some sort of at least token multiplayer, like where a second player can use like a pointer or something, you know? Yeah. But I have no idea, honestly. Let's try using the power of sparkle. Oh, she has a ponytail now. Oh, really? Mm. Well, it, it was, oh, oh. oh, the, oh, the ribbon, the ribbon is, is, is my sparkle power. I see. I mean, that, that looks, it looks way better than without. You yes. sparkle to help this feat. Oh, are, are, is that what the the characters are called? The the feats, like theater feet. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Sparkle makes people feel better. Uh, JD. Let's go. J Japo <laughs> is asking if we have uh, the RPC setup. From what I hear, Quest pri primarily. Differentiating, differentiating, differentiating factor is PC VR. Otherwise, uh, PS VR is a better gaming headset. Um. Uh. So. Yeah. I mean, we just use what you know. You can use like the Steam Link and stuff. Yeah. I mean, the, from your PC to it. Yeah, it was just wireless over the network. With I mean, it's it's shockingly yeah. you good. Can, you can you can plug it directly in. Um, uh, but I'm not sure like what specifically you can do. I mean, I, what I will say when I tested, you know, I tested PSVR two and quest three at John Lenneman's house and mm -hmm. the one had games and the other one didn't. Well, <laughs> that yes. And the other thing is the, the main thing, like, yes, the PSVR two has OLED, but it's not that clear inside and the quest three has the pancake lenses and like right. everything is sharp and clear. Like yeah. just, it's just yeah. very sharp and clear. And when you move your head around the motion clarity is really crisp and PSVR two, yeah. it blurs when you move your head about. So it's, there's nice things about the PSVR two, but like it, you know, there's a lot more chromatic aberration. Um, I, 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 I felt it was, yeah, yes, it's higher resolution and it's more like pure black and stuff than the PSVR one, but I, I'll admit it was not the jump that I thought it would be. Right. Yeah. Henry Clark says wireless works better ever than wired from ports of her quest three contrary to common logic. You will not believe how good. Like you do not, I, I swear, I know you don't believe me because John and I were talking about this for like an hour after we talked about, like we just, like it just defies logic how good the wireless Steam Link works on the Quest Yeah, 3. well, it's gotta be like a five gigahertz signal. It's, cause you cannot it tell it it's compressed range, video. It, you it really cannot bad. tell it's, 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 it's streamed over your network. Yeah. Like you cannot and tell. And there's sometimes where you do see it kind of, it does, like, you see some macro blocking in it every once in a while. No, I have but... not noticed that. See, I've, I've seen it, like, a couple of times, but... Have you been near your router? Yeah, I mean, my router is, like, right above my head. I, I did not notice it when I played at John's, which was, like... But it's, you know, it's like... I it's played like a for a good while. It's not even... But uh, since I got mine here, I've not... I've, I've, I've just not put a lot of time into it because... Um, because I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah. No, it's cool. Uh, I have a lot more interest in the uh, like the native games more so than I do. 
I mean, I kind of, I, I feel like I'm going to to buy, unless it's something that's just like really compelling to have on it natively, like Tetris Effect, for, for instance. Like, Tetris is just a great thing, especially Tetris Effect is just a great thing to have on, uh, to have on any system, right? So to me, it yeah. seems preferable to have it that way. Well, for me, I, but, I, I feel as though I would, I, I will likely be taking it places mm. uh, as like people want to try it. Like I could, I could bring it to somebody's house and they'd be able to try certain things, you know, without having to have a computer be able to. So I, I'm, I'm a lot more interested in, in that. Yeah. Well, but I, I also like the idea of, uh, you know, my, my games are like, could be played by a future platform that may or may not be meta, right? Right. Yeah. And I don't know. Everything, like, so much stuff has that 30% off right now. And I'm like, oh, I, that makes it so I can justify it. Yeah, it was it was a good time to, to get like, that. I got this. To get, because, like, Steam sales going on and, and the meta store has, like, a... A competing, <laughs> a competing sale, right? And, and uh, not, it's not everything that's on sale right now on the on the Meta Store. But I was, uh, I got like this pack that had uh, Super Hot mm. in it, and um, another game called Pistol Whip. Yeah, and uh, which is just basically like Super Hot VR if you've if you've ever played that, but it's just like on rails. And you just like dodge stuff, mm. and you can like uh, use a bunch of different guns, like handguns. But it's all, um, I think it's all timed out to like the music. It's it's cool. It's cool, and the 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 fun thing about it is that it like makes you feel like you're really awesome when people like watching you from the outside it's like this is so stupid <laughs> but it, in your mind you you know you you feel as though you are in a in a, in a john woo movie like hard boiled <laughs> or, 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 or or john wick i guess would be a more modern thing uh but I mean, it's just it's just cool to have that on the system itself. Uh, so that's that's that is what I'm preferring to do right now. Is I just rather do that. And and there's a lot of games that don't even don't even require a uh, internet connection, which is nice. Um, one thing you might want to look into though is that with our with ours, they came with six months of that Meta Plus. Oh. And there's like if you redeem that, there's like. 10 games you can download. And it's actually, like, not that bad. I mean, it's, it's $60 a year for that. And it's just, it's basically like PlayStation Plus or, like, uh, Game Pass. Like, uh, yeah, but it's not everything. It's just certain things. But uh, you get, like, $25 store credit also. Mm. If once, after that six months, and you decide to, like, do it. So it's really only costing you, like, uh, like, like thirty five dollars. I mean, VR is a good platform for just having a way to uh, having a way to uh, just try out a variety of things. I mean, the sad thing is, like, PSVR one was the only VR platform that had like a decent physical media presence. So I've kind of just accepted that VR is like, it's like a fun thing I like to dabble in. I, I enjoy checking it out. Right. Um, and I, I wish there could be a, a, a good physical media uh, option there, but sadly, like, it's just, it's just not there. Really. So... Yeah, I just don't think there's a real. Yeah, way so that that's why like I'm okay with the idea of like checking out stuff like that because it's VR is about the experiences, I guess. If, if that's yeah. what you want to call it. Well, speaking of which, like I the th that's the kind of thing that I've been messing around with the most on there versus games is just like the different experiences, and 
I don't know if you've gone into like the horizon, like the meta horizon stuff. I, you can, like, I went in there, in there and it seemed, like, seemed kind of bad, but. But it's, it's not so much that like you like go in there, but what I thought it was cool is like you can go in like they have. I mean, it's pr not of interest to you, but you can go to like uh, like they have like concerts that they show mm -hmm. and you can go there and it's actually kind of neat. Uh, you're like in this kind of like a like a outside area watching this on like a gigantic screen right and you can go like way up to it and it almost feels like like almost like being to an extent yeah uh and that's the kind of things that i think are, are pretty neat like they have like like a k-pop thing and my, i was like oh i want my my daughter to check this out and she thought it was super super cool uh, anyways, let me back up. There was uh, 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 Joshua Eichert has been a member for 13 months. Thank you. Saying a happy yes. Sunday. I, in keeping with the princess theme of the evening, who is your favorite Mario princess? Yeah. Is it, it going to be Peach or Rosalina? I, I mean, I'd... I mean, Daisy's pretty darn popular. Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I I feel as though like I probably pick Rosalina just because I, I feel like I I would pick Rosalina as well. I mean, she's probably a lot more comfortable in her dress. Too. But uh, so what I'm noticing here, you know, people were talking about the the frame rate, like it seems pretty good to me like in the actual gameplay it's yeah. like it's the cutscene it's the cutscenes where it's really bad so so basically it's not a big deal so basically it's as far as i can tell it seems like the gameplay is like you can go you can move in the z-axis but it is oh i i'm doing like how am i doing that I'm doing like some sort of bayonetta dodge or something. Oh, awesome. Watch your enemies moves carefully then put, use B or A to dodge or counterattack. Nice. That's the kind of stuff I do. I, I, I'm I not really sure how I did a lot it. Of, a lot of uh, enjoyment out of. That's, that's one of those gameplay things that. Uh, that is one of my favorite. It's my, one of my favorite gameplay. Modifier or whatever. I just I love being able to dodge and everything slows down. Uh, there was also ten dollars from Robert Hernandez. Thank you. Saying uh, if a small terrestrial TV station Oregon can uh, figure out how to broadcast ATVC over ATSC 1.0 wireless video transmission to a MetaQuest seems trivial. Happy Sunday, everyone. <laughs> I guess that I guess that would, would be the case, right? If it's just sending it over your home network and it can, you know, it's, it's, it's essentially the same thing as sending probably shadow play. Yeah, like a, but I I've just I've never seen anything I never look, tried NVIDIA, look that good and be that NVIDIA. consistent in that format. But yeah, it's pretty impressive from what I've tried. Yeah. Um, you know, just like even just like YouTube VR in there is, yeah. is really cool. You you're messing with it last, but what what I like about it is that you can just kind of get right up against things. And I I bought that virtual desktop, and you can have it so it shows any of your monitors, right? Mm -hmm. And I put like the RetroTank 4K video, like the, our final file, like playing in there full screen, and you can get like right up to it. Like if you want to like look at something. I was like, I'm, this is how I'm going to watch, uh, you know, like any final outputs of, of episodes from now on, because I feel as, as though I can really uh, like pay distinct attention to it without getting distracted. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, but the, the only downside with YouTube VR that I'm kind of finding out is that it's completely random what kind of quality it'll get. Oh, really? There's been many times where it won't give me options above 480p. Huh. I mean, and all, all I... That, since I have it, like, logged into my account, and I have my YouTube account tied to my, like, Movies Anywhere account, so a lot of that stuff will sync over. 
But they must do something where you... It must be an anti-piracy thing. We're watching it on there. You can't get it higher than 480p. Why, why would that be anti-piracy, though? Because you, being in VR makes it harder to record. <laughs> right, but I, but I wonder if it's just something that uh, applies to a whole bunch of different devices not just like VR headset, it's just that some, whatever it is in the VR, in YouTube VR is like triggering that protection. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Uh, yeah, I have, I have no idea. Basically all I did was watch the stream. I mean, the only disappointment I had was not, uh, not being able to figure out how to do the ch chat, which maybe you can't, but. Well, I was under the impression that, that based on what people were saying, that they have not updated it very consistently. Mm. But it did. It looked the stream looked really good, but I haven't really gone back to that functionality yet. Yeah, but if you want the the full quality, there's a video viewing program called Skybox. That you can you can load videos over your network. You can do like YouTube searches and. Uh, you can you can watch the video like from a black void or you can you can make it so that you're watching it like in a movie theater and you can choose if you want to be in the front row or the back row or whatever or you can have it like on an IMAX screen if you put it on an IMAX screen you put it like right in front of you you like look right up at it and um, or you can watch it on this from the surface of the moon <laughs> That's an option. And that's, that's, it's a good video player. It's what a lot of people recommend it as just a you know, way to watch videos like over your network and stuff. Uh, so that's like a good option. Uh, I did want to read that there was a, uh, a comment from uh, KCW. I uh, just wanted to thank you based on your recommendation. Uh, I, I recently played and completed a short hike on the PS5. Very oh. relaxing and an emotional, quite sweet story. Uh, definitely worth the eight dollars paid. Absolutely, that game was it's a, it's a just, ton it's of fun. A very cool game. I, I, I would. That, that's a game I would really like to play again and like try to one hundred percent. Yeah, it makes you just wonder what's out there, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not not an expensive game. It just you need you know, to sit it's got here. A very relaxing you need feel to, sit to here? it. It's got a good feel to it. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. You can sit here. Okay. Now he's up there going crazy, going crazy. What's going crazy? Oh, the uh, the bean. Oh. She had, she had to uh, had to get a bath yesterday, and I'm like, we gotta go clean the bean. <laughs> <laughs> clean the bean. Uh, there was uh, two pounds from JL asking what our thoughts are on Jeff Gersman's NES rankings. Uh, is there a link to that? I will tell you. Speaking of rankings, before I look that up, I will I'll look look up what his NES rankings are. Uh, I watched a a video by somebody recently where that, that rated did did a tier list of all of the retro retro video game channels on YouTube. Oh wow! You what you want to know what we are rated? What were we rated? Uh. Uh, th this person gave us a D. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yep. We got, we got it. We got a D. We got rated a D. Wow. Okay. I any any advice on how we could not be a D? No, I just think that it was just a very it was very clear when when the person was uh, doing the video, just saying that like it was very clear that the kind of stuff that we make is not uh, of interest to them of, of interest to them yes um i can't remember what it's called i mean there's some other good stuff i mean 
who got an A? Um, I, I can, um... If you, like, do a search... The guy's name is, uh, Jason Graves. Um... Let's see, so, who got an A? Um... Uh, gaming historian got an A. Like I'm just looking at like icons that I that I know of. They got an A. Um, gaming historian. Uh, Stop skeletons for fighting. Uh, game chasers all got an A. Uh, B. Game stack was in in B. Uh, so was um, Jeremy Parrish was in B. Um. I think, uh, I don't know, like a lot of the other ones. And C. So, I don't know. We, we were just like firmly in the, in the, in the, the D, which is like, there's, there's like an S tier, like, or a God tier. Ooh. And, uh, I think that that was, uh, I think Tim Rogers was in the God tier. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, well earned. So, the D is like below, like there it goes like, like there's like the S tier or God tier or whatever, uh, A, B, C, C minus, then something else, and then and then I then haven't seen and then D. Wow, is 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 there anything lower than D? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's there's an F. There's F. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna find an F. <laughs> um, an F based on what I have can see here, because I think the uh, I think the Top Hat Gaming Man was is in the F tier. Uh, but I mean, you know, Game Dave was was got a C. Oh. He hasn't he hasn't released an episode in a couple of years, but it's like you know he's he's, he's up there, well deserved. And he's also, he also commented. On this I don't know, like it's just it. <laughs> I think that when when I was kind of skimming for when when he was ranking us, he said I think he said something along the lines of I'd rather die than watch my life in gaming video. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I don't care about it at all. I mean, it's just, I don't, I, what am I, what am I going to do? Am I going to go in there and be like, listen, I need to change your mind. And I'm going to, we're going to change the kind of videos that we make just to specifically change this one person's mind. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, I, I can understand how I the totally, kind of things. I, I totally acknowledge that what we do is not for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's fine. I, 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 I do not feel like it. Uh, offended. Um, but I just think it's funny that it's like I'd rather die. I and mean, there's and there there's a lot of people in the comments saying that they did did not agree with their like the ranking of us specifically. Mm. Um I don't know. I mean, there's a lot. It's it's very interesting. Uh, I I think I saw. I was looking through some other uh, videos of this person. I think that I saw him say that he was from the uh, like lives in around where I where I grew up. Oh. Although this person in the comment did say that we are puke inducing. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> You can do thing. Oh. I mean, I do this. See, uh, this person says, I feel bad for my life in gaming. Their videos are about getting the best video of games were really good, but they kind of ran out of them and lost focus of the channel. I think they're still at least a C or T, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know. What can we do? Indeed. Yeah, puke inducing. <laughs> Listen, if you're if you 
you feel as though you may have ingested something you shouldn't have, just watch one of our videos. <laughs> But no, it's, I, I thought it was funny. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's kind of funny too. Oh, oh, Jonathan Hinson with $2 <laughs> saying, please make, please God make a M-Leg D tier shirt. <laughs> Sandy. I mean, I, I wonder if we could, Sandy. Uh, Sandy, if I take you out, will we, you we, finally we, poop? Appar apparently, Emlig needs to be greatest gaming channel. Emlig needs to be poop inducing because Sandy ne ne still needs to poop tonight, and she's staring at me like, yeah. "Oh, I need to poop." But I've taken you out a bunch of times, and you ain't pooped yet. Is is this a poop inducing stream, Sandy? Yeah. Come on, let's. It could be. It can. They can say like my life in gaming. Your favorite D tier. Puke inducing channel. <laughs> <laughs> Number one among the, the puke inducing D tier channels. Come on, let's go. Uh, but no, no, I mean, I hope that nobody goes on and be like, you were wrong about this. I, I am, am not bothered whatsoever. What am I playing? Listen, I, I when after I finished uh, um, Final Fantasy, I was like, I need to like not play anything for a minute. So, I'm not playing anything right now. I've been I've been dabbling in uh, the Switch version of Final Fantasy VII just because I really want to replay the. Uh, portion of the game of the original that uh that this game encompassed oh yeah i'll, I'll be back streaming yakuza on uh on tuesday you know it's funny because last week on tuesday night i think i was like oh man i need to i'm, I'm streaming tomorrow at tomorrow morning and then I woke up and I was in the in the morning. I'm like, wait, it's Wednesday. I was supposed to stream yesterday. <laughs> so that's why I didn't didn't stream on uh, on Tuesday. But on Friday, I've been working on a, a thing at work where I've been helping to like do like this uh, this podcast thing for the company that I work for, and. Uh, I've been trying to streamline the entire process so that I can just drop in the files that I uh, uh, have to work with. And, and for each episode, it'll all sync up perfectly. So, but I'll be back on Tuesday. I stream over on the Twitch on usually on Tuesdays and Fridays from around 8 a.m. until a little bit after 9. Uh, it's definitely, like, those streams, though, my, uh, I don't know, like, I, it's, it, it's not super engaging because it's all about, you know, just having some coffee and, uh, and hanging out. It's, it's it's very easy to put on some, put it on so that you can ignore it. <laughs> um, there is also uh, two dollars from uh, Retro Guys TV. Thank you. Well, I see that there's that, uh, I see that there's two from him. Oh, really? There's a five oh, and then know, there's, there's, a, there's two. a five. There's two. Uh, one with no message, and one with uh, with a message, ranking us like number three after uh, Tim Rogers and uh, Game Historian. That's uh, that's 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 I'll pretty solid. It. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I gotta be number one. Ooh, check me out. I can.
I, I can, mean, uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> they time your jumps, jumps, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I do, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But, I mean... Oh. I, I think we could do, like, a, like a, you know... Like a, like a, do a D-tier <laughs> channel. Uh, shirt. Or something. Did, did Sandy poop? We need to know. We need closure. Uh, she, she, she did poop. She did poop. She did poop. It was very, very glad to report. I, I love how she puts up these like, she puts up these like little, little bush things when she's hiding in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of great. Um, some, uh, Frank Borch saying that the, the game audio is loud. It's loud? Yeah. Uh, yes. Let's do that. Is that better? Yeah, it, I thought was, I, I I had to turn down my speakers a little too. It was a little louder than I expected. Sandy, do you need to lay up here? Do you need to lay on the recliner? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Will that make you happy? Will that make you happy? You can lay right here, okay? Did you go and see that, that Ghostbusters movie? Uh, I have not. If you have, I don't. I don't want to hear. Oh, gonna, I don't want. I, I don't want to hear what you thought about it or anything. Yeah, I. I mean. You know, there was a point where I was thinking, like, oh, maybe we'll go and see that. But then I realized, like, you know, I don't, I don't know if I even care. I mean, I'll probably wait until it's available to watch at home. But I, I really liked the uh, the Afterlife. Yeah, but I feel like this one just... It feels like they may have rushed it out. Oops. That's fine. Whoa. I, I like the... Oh, <laughs> she teleported back to like a little checkpoint, I guess. <laughs> uh, Dad1153 with $2 saying, I'd also rate you guys a D for delicious. <laughs> mm, delicious. Uh, can I, uh... Did that, did that come through to you? What? I didn't. I didn't hear anything. Is that not coming through? Um. Like this. Did that come through? I guess not. Ah. Uh. I mean, no soundboard. Why isn't that going? Maybe through? I just can't hear it against this pretty darn good music. Oh, maybe. But people are saying that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's coming through. It's going through. Delicious. There we go. There we go. There. Oh wait, but then I heard myself come back. Technique. <laughs> uh oh, I know why you're hearing yourself come back. I know why, but I'm not going to. Change it. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna <laughs> the bamboo. It's great. There, there, there's, there's, a little, there's definitely a lot of fun little touches. Oh. 
<laughs> There's ten dollars from uh, T Soul. Thank, Thank you. you. And listen, listen, guys. A few of your patrons, I won't say who, won the internet years ago, and we all agreed that you're S tier. <laughs> Others are haters. Love to kind of keep it up. Well, it's not a competition, but I do appreciate it. Speaking of that, uh, I've been, I need to see where I'm at. I, you know, I've been releasing all the, the episodes for download on our, on our Patreon. Um, and I have them queued up. I've been releasing one a day. And I need to feel, figure out where I am in that. I don't know if they've. I've really saw the the RGB episodes. Oh yeah, someone, someone was asking about like disabling the archive notifications on Patreon. They couldn't figure out how to do it. So I was wondering if that was something you had related to something you were doing. Yeah, it's just yeah, I've been releasing one a day, uh, and just like sending out a post to to do it. I mean, I'm not sure if I don't I don't I don't know how to make it to go out to people who uh, wouldn't want it. You know what I mean? I just like I don't know how to make it. They'd have to change that probably in their in their settings. Um, but I should see where it's at right now. Yeah, 314 was out, so I got a few more. I appreciate that, Henry Clark. I mean, that's the only real way I can do it. I don't have the, the option, you know? Hopefully it's not too annoying for people. So so day, what 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 is it that you're you're doing regarding that again? I'm just putting up the downloadable downloadable versions of the of Whoa, every episode. What? What? What the heck? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Some my controller like is freaking out. Is it drifting? No, it's going full tilt. <laughs> See if that fixes it. She's just like, oh, maybe this is maybe this is just an auto run section. That's I guess that must be what this is. Oh, okay, yeah, this is just an auto run section. I see. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. That that's uh, oh wait I'm hearing myself coming back suddenly. Uh, these these little uh, these little spinny uh, tree branches are very re reminiscent of Goemon's Great Adventure, which would uh, make sense. Oh, she she's like skating on the water. Okay, you should not be hearing yourself come back anymore now. Okay. Whoa! I can I make the whole the wave thing. jump. <laughs> now you should be able to hear this also. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Now you should. Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I, I didn't hear it very well, though. It kind of... Was that that's good? Yeah, it was a that's good, yeah. It, it was kind of hard to understand. It, like, cut off or something. Uh, There was $5 from Bubba D. Matt. Hey. Dust. Thank you. Thank you. 
and hope you all are well. Have you ever thought of a collab with Metal Jesus to maybe do a buying guide for capturing and streaming? I think it would work well. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if he does like anything like that. Uh, I was a little sad that he didn't ask us to do a thing in his most recent video about physical versus digital. Oh. And he like did like asked like a bunch of people, and I was like, oh, he didn't ask us. It's all right though. It's all right. What, what, what's the heart charm? Uh, we did a like a capture card episode with GameSack a couple of years ago. Oh, is about. that like a hard mode thing? Oh. No, I don't need that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, some sort of, I mean, I don't, I don't know that in, in some ways, I mean, some elements of that could, could come out in our tour videos, but at the same time, like, man, streaming and capturing is just so annoying these days <laughs> when you, when you want to not compromise on, uh, when you, when you, want to not compromise on, you know, like HDMI 2.1 features. Streaming is a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm not, that's why I ain't doing it. That's why you ain't doing it. Uh, um, I am very content with using my, my Atomos Ninja though for recording. Uh, basically everything right now. I just think it's so much easier to set it up and do that instead of having to manage it in OBS. Um, hey, did your, your OSC Pro show up? You know, I, I, I meant, uh, I meant to look into that before the stream because it popped in my head earlier today that it should have been delivered a few days ago. Well, did you say it was going to get delivered? Because what happened with mine is that uh, it said it like made it to the United States and then it just didn't have any other updates and then it just showed up one day. Well, the last time I looked into it was like Wednesday or something. And it was mm -hmm. it was still in Europe, so yeah. it was supposed uh, to be delivered Friday originally. But yeah, uh, Chaos eighty nine. We'll we'll be doing a stream in probably a couple of weeks here on uh, with the morph. For sure. I mean, I know that we both got them, got one uh, this week, but you know, we haven't had time to like really. I I I, do, I haven't had like, time really to turn it on yet it. at all. But I am um, definitely curious to test it out. Yeah. And the OSSC Pro as well. I mean, it's, I think it's just going to be like a really. Uh, it's like a middle of the road thing for people who want like it's it's very uncomplicated right now because it's hdmi only and there's a whole bunch that comes with analog signal that it's gonna i think that's where it's gonna get become be pretty challenging because i as far as i know that's the thing that that mike has been doing like the most with the retro tank because it seems like there's so much analog stuff yeah that that with. that has become very uh complex i would say yeah um but um, but i mean i think know. that if if the morph can like do like certain things uh behind the scenes without you like having to like really mess around with it right like it's going to be of interest to a lot of people who don't want to who just want something to be able to plug into it mm -hmm. and it and like decent results or like good like like really good results for it you know um and I think that the Tink 4K is, is for people that really want to get into the nitty gritty and have a ton of control over stuff. But what's also nice about the Tink is that it does, it can be as easy as you want it to be. Yeah. Um, and like messing around with the OSSC Pro, uh, I think it's pretty cool. And you know what, there's something, maybe it's because we used the OSC for so for so long. There's just like something kind of like comforting about it. Yeah. Does that make I sense? Imagine, I can imagine. Where it's kind of like oh, it's like it's like comforting and familiar. And uh, 
like for the OSC Pro, I'm excited about that extra analog board that's coming out, that analog output board, because it's going to make downscaling really, really easy, easy to um, to like a CRT. Now, I the the thing that I'm I'm actually most excited to try with the OSSC Pro is, um, you know, I, I could see that as being really good for the projector setup that that I uh, have at my parents' house. Oh. Because I I just want, I because I can do, um, because I'm pretty sure it has black frame insertion, so I can do, yes. uh, yeah. I, can, I can do black frame insertion uh, 120 hertz, which I've tried that with the RetroTink 4k on that projector and it's 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 actually quite good um but i uh i would i would like to you know i it's it's a little bit of a pain to bring to bring that, you know yeah so but like for example i i brought um i i brought i brought it uh to my parents house and played through most of super mario brothers wonder uh when that came out mm-hmm with uh on the projector with black frame insertion and it was uh i i think it was a lot better than the projector without well what's kind of cool about it is that it has a like line multiplication mode and a scalar mode and you can oh. choose which one you want interesting so it, it, so it, can you do can you do like a pass through is what, like a true pass like that's one thing the retro tink 4k can't do is like a true pass through mode i don't Right, I'm it, pretty sure that there is a way to do a pass through. Yes. Yeah, because I, I like, believe, I or, or it's coming. I believe Mike has said in the past, if I'm not mistaken, that there's just there's no way for the signal to not go through the scale. Right. Like, I you, it, it. like you could, I guess, in theory, if you wanted, just do 1080p to 1080p, for instance. But it's still technically. Right. You know, going through the scale. Yeah. What I thought was was nice about it, though, is it, it uh, the OSC Pro has like all of the uh, resolutions, and you can just like go through them. And there's so many resolutions to choose from. But can you do because custom? it has the because uh, it has that screen on the front, you can just kind of go through them as fast as you want. You know, there's like. There's that screen on the front, and there's that little uh, like nub, and it's almost like a little joystick. Oh, okay. It's kind of cool. I, uh, you know, I, I gotta be honest. Like I, <laughs> you know, since the OSSC is like you know not the main thing in my setup, uh, and you know, it hasn't been since the RetroTink 5X. But every time I turn on the OSSC, I'm like, man, I love that little little screen. It's that just little screen, man. It, it goes. It's such a. It's so handy for just like. Just looking at it and just getting information about your signal, confirm that it's working correctly. Mm -hmm. Well, what I like about it, you know, it has all these different resolutions and stuff on there, and you can just go through them, and it's a really good way to see like what your TV will handle. Uh, okay, I, I I have to wonder if the if the bottle of tomato juice is is a reference to the Super Mario Brothers Super Show because that was definitely a thing in at least at least one episode that I specifically remember. <laughs> the GBSC, I mean, we just have that one from a, a while back. I don't know. I, in my setup at the very, very top, I just have all of, like these old scalers <laughs> up there, sitting there waiting to be used if I ever need to use them for anything. <laughs> well, you know that but was I have to, like dig them out. That was one of the things I was really proud of about that Super Nintendo mod video. Is I was like able to like pull out all the old scalers and yeah, you know, be like, okay, here's how it looks on this scaler, and and that's like something that I would not. I, I would be annoyed doing that every episode. It would just, that would be an unpleasant process. But just doing it for one episode when I hadn't turned some of those on in so long, it was kind of like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> that says Craig hands out scalars to people helping him move stuff around. Um, I mean, not like I mean, I I've given scalars to people. Uh, you know, friends of friends or whatever, who who were maybe like hooking things into their TVs without anything. I'm like, well, I can just give you this. Uh, but I mean, I've, I've mentioned it before, but I like was like getting so many of those like Ambernick things since doing that Ambernick video. Oh, and and they they <laughs> they've continued to 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 come. It, like, I can, can continue to keep getting them. Uh, and I don't think now they're like showing up the P, at the PO box instead. So I don't think it's the same person sending them anymore. I think it's somebody else. And uh, I don't know. Like I gave one to my to my nephew for like their birthday. And uh, there was one time a while back where uh, I had this one. And it's like somebody was fixed, uh, like cl did like our furnace cleaning. <laughs> I, I I think I told you about this, you know. Yeah, they, yeah, they, clean, yeah. They, they clean the furnace, and you know, like when everybody comes down here, like, oh, this is pretty cool mm -hmm. down here. And uh, I don't know, we were just like talking about that for stuff. I'm like, oh, do you? I got this thing. Do you want it? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll take that. So. <laughs> like, thanks for moving this amount of stuff. Would you like a 36 in one console? <laughs> no, I, I barely ever get random stuff. It's it's the only people who randomly send stuff uh, to the to the PO box is like apparently this Ambernick person. And maybe like this this Acnes game room, like a seller on uh, on Amazon. They sent like those Gula kit uh, stick like Joy-Con replacement things, stuff like that. But no, I mean almost never. Like, uh, yeah, I mean there there's little things that come from here and there, but. Well, hang on. Let me, I'll, I'll, like, I'll grab, like, an example of the kind of random stuff I do get. Um, I don't know if you got this years but it's like this little fanzine called patch what what is it it's like a fanzine oh type thing does that look familiar no patch. uh it's a uh little fanzine that uh just is like has like some articles in it and uh like a lot of uh like indie game stuff um I mean, I love stuff like this. You can you can look them up on uh, on Instagram at the Patch Mag. Um, but there's like a bunch of like random stuff. It's just kind of a cool little like little mini mag, you know. And what do they say? And I said, we thought you might enjoy uh, one of our issues. Check us out. Uh, we ship worldwide. Best wishes from the patch team. Yeah, it's it's really well done. And I can always appreciate the black grid. Oh. Put a black grid on anything. And I'll at least Each time. Uh, be interested. But you know, it's 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 few and far between. Um, any thoughts on Hell Divers Two? 
Uh, not really. I I've heard it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I've heard it's good, but it's not it's not the kind of game that I'm typically drawn to. Yeah. I mean, is there like any the kind of is there any single player component to it? I mean, it's I it's, I it's free to so. play, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I saw it at Target yesterday. Uh, that's two dollars from EB Chill. Thank you. Thank you. EB Chill two, and EB the EB Chill three comes to the uh, the Twitch streams. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about it, that it's, it's really fun to play. Uh, but it's also one of those games that I know that if I really got into it, you know, I don't know if I'd play like much else. And that's, uh, that's something I, I struggle to think about each year because I can't perhaps play every game as much as I want to because I need to have stuff to talk about in your end videos. I mean, I, I don't... But what if I just, like, had, like... You know, like, what if I only played a single game for half the year? Well, I... I mean, that's what I mean. It's like, I... I don't think that would happen. I mean, especially because, I mean, here's the thing. I don't thing. think that would happen, but if it did, you know, like, that, I... I yeah, but the thing is, like, you, I don't think you need to worry about that kind of thing because, uh, I mean, think about all the stream nights that we have, right? Like, yeah, yeah. you know, you, uh, th that's, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you guys play so many games. And it's like, well, a big part of it really is just because we, we, sh you know, I, I do backloggery streams and, these streams and you do these streams and now you're doing the the morning streams on Twitch, mm -hmm. you know, so like streaming, you know, I, 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 I think I, I put special thanks at the end of uh, the games we played in 2023, just saying, uh, you know, like thanks to everyone who tunes into the streams and keeps us playing games week after week. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I, I feel like that, is a major contributor uh, to us, you know, being able to talk about a decent number of games every, every right. year. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, that certainly helps a lot. Um, Mr. Dot saying that someone dropped off a huge master system collection. And I Ooh. bought my favorites today. Oh, I'd be curious what, what was in there. Hmm. Yeah, I was I was very excited to buy some uh <laughs> very excited to buy some uh some Master System games in Europe. Yeah, you got that. Alex Kid Alex Kid in Shinobi World. I know. That's I like got I should like, stream that's probably that by like the one game on the system that I feel as though I'm missing out on having. But that's that's like so expensive at this point. Um, I should look that up. Make cookies with us. Where are them cookies at? Do you have uh, the Sega Smash Pack Volume 1 for the Sega Dreamcast? No. I feel like you should get it. Is it really cheap? If, if you do, if you're like, if you are feeling down, <laughs> and you're like, I could really use a good, a real pick me up right now. <laughs> Things th things seem like they're <laughs> like like every battle feels unwinnable. <laughs> you should you pop that in and be like, Whew. you know, things are bad, but it's not it's not this bad. I mean, it is it is it is the funniest thing. Let's see how much that. Uh, You know, in the, in this multi cart or multi game video that we're releasing, like uh, 
at the end of this week. Uh, I talk about, uh, you know, because you, you say the first multi-game cartridge you had, and probably like most people had, was the Mario and Duck Hunt, right? Yeah. And I talk about how mine was Hang On and Safari Hunt. And I was thinking, like, I don't know if I still have that. And I was, like, looking, and I had one in my cart. I almost bought it. And then I got distracted, and I ended up not getting around to it. Uh, and then I was like, oh, actually, I have it. So, that was close. Uh, there's five dollars from Jamie White. Thank you. Saying, you guys are the best. The best. Thank you. Thank you. The best, the best D tier channel streaming on YouTube right now. Yeah. <laughs> best, best D tier channel that streams on on uh, uh, Sunday nights. And who knows? We might even make you throw up. <laughs> oh, I was almost, almost about to max it out. I don't think I quite did. Well, this one, this has got to be fake, right? It has no manual. It's a U.S. copy, and it's $95. That's not... That's not too crazy. <laughs> Guys, as far as I say, I smashed back when I was a freshman and sophomore, uh, sophomore in high school and thought, wow, this is some trash, bro. I mean... Uh, how how many people do you think how many people do you think never uh like played that without having any reference for Sega Genesis? Like what do you think they thought? Dude, I have no idea, but there there had to have been quite a few people probably. Yeah. For sure. Um, the other thing I talk about it in that same section is the, um, the Sega GT 2020, oh, tw uh, wow. 2002 okay. and, uh, the Jet Set Radio Future bundle that came with the Xbox for a while there. And what a cool, like, idea, uh. <laughs> but also at the same time, I'm kind of amazed that Oh, there's a picture showing what it's supposed to look like. Okay, I didn't... That that even, like, flew. Like, I didn't see that. It's... The, I, I, I think I say in the, like, in the script, I say that, uh... Um... It's kind of amazing that this compilation even released, because... It's almost like they were just trying to be, like, you know, winning Sega fans. I guess. Oh, yeah, it's like a. This one looks tasty. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's a, it has a, it's a great compilation that they did that, but I wonder. I don't feel as though it probably helps sell systems to people who. Oh, geez, look at this. Uh, Oof, they were, yikes. you know, not in the know about what, what Sega had been doing on on the uh, on the Dreamcast. Uh, um. <laughs> yep. There we go. Perfect. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, phew. Uh, oh. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Oh, look at that. Look at that. But, you know, in this video, I try to go out of my yeah. way to not cover collections that I had, like, that I've covered in, in videos before. Uh, which is why, at least for the Sega Smash Pack, it's just because it's good for a laugh for a split second. But then I really wanted to talk about the version of Virtua Cop that it came with, which because that's really good. Virtua Cop 2, sorry.
decorate those cakes with such skill. Such skill. They, they look pretty uh, tasty, I think. But looking over... See, I don't know if these are... legit or not. I mean, is our red labeled Alex Kid in Shinobi World, do they exist? Because this one has like a red label on it, but I don't... It, the $95 one. But this one's 210 and it says complete with a blue label. Elk plays and paints. That's that's kind of interesting that it was, so that version of Virtua Cop 2 wasn't in the PC version of the Sega Smash Pack because it's the PC version. You know, it's it seems like they would, but maybe they knew that they were already selling it separately. We have a video coming out um, that's just kind of like a fun game focus one about uh, gaming, like g video game compilations. And it's, it's, it is the first one of many. And the reason we kind of, we wanted something, uh, we signed a thing to do like a number of sponsorships like throughout the year. And we wanted a idea for an episode that we could do like for multiple of those. Something that, that's easily reproducible. Yeah. That we could tack a... And that, that a and my, like, I'm so, solo working on my setup tour video, which will be out hopefully, like, not too much longer after that. Mm. My sparkle um, is getting there's gonna, I mean, there are so many, like, different compilations, and there's some, like, like really interesting ones, but it's it's basically... <laughs> basically games that have multiple games on it that were at some point sold individually in fact you spent a whole bunch of time like working on one talking about different final fantasy games yeah so i it was I, I so like, long like we, we just make this its own video i i spent all this time uh creating these loading comparisons between Super Nintendo and PS1 for Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6. And, like, I just... I... I, There was so much I wanted to say about those games and those versions in particular uh, that I was just like... I, I, I'm going to be spending, like, 12 minutes on these games alone. And yeah. I, like... I, I'm I feel very compelled to like put some of this information out there. Um but it's gonna have to be a different episode. So uh so yeah, we'll I, I can't promise when, but I I do wanna do uh a, an episode looking at various versions of Final Fantasy four, five, and six. I know that there are videos out that out there that do that, but what we are more interested in is talking about like and more about the presentation rather than right. like the specific differences of like, Oh, well, you know, this spell is called this and this version and that version. And you know, this, this does, you know, the, the stats on this one are different and things like that. We're, we're yeah. th there's videos out there that, that get into that, but um, we want to talk more about the presentation of the different versions. So. Right. Uh, I see. Um, Gaming Nostalgia is asking if the uh, the Lethal Enforcers collection is on PS1 is included. Um, and yes, so I am like doing a variety of different collections. In this one, I'm doing it for like Sega, Namco, uh, Konami, and uh, Capcom. And that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface. I mean, we were just kind of brainstorming different compilations and stuff that we had. Yeah. And it, it was like the list was like four pages. Yeah. Well, and I, I didn't even, I didn't even my list. Like I just skipped over a bunch. Cause I'm like, yeah, don't feel like talking about that one right now. And 
So, like, I need to, like, go over my collection again. Yeah, because I mean, because I, 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 I didn't, I'm constantly finding new things that I didn't even think about. Right. I need to go over my collection again because, like, there's a lot that I just, I didn't even bother listing. Oh, it's yeah. boss time, I guess. Um, and I see that, you know, I, some people are, like, Mega Man X collection, Sonic, Sonic collection. So I'm, like, really trying to avoid doing, like, like a Mega Man collections, uh, Sonic collections. Because I, I, I kind of, like... Darkle. Out loud, just kind of uh, say in this, I say, you know, is... Is Sonic one, like, the most emulated and ported, officially ported game of all time? Or, or like, the game that appears in the most collections of all time? Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be, it's, it's gotta be up there. It's gotta be in the conversation. Right? I mean, I would not be surprised if it's in more collections. Like, you know, you'd think that, Whoa. oh, Pac-Man, surely. Uh, and that's like, that's also in, in the conversation, but I think the Sonic is like, like even more so. Oh, there's that. Oh, am I supposed to be like six. Thank you. button or something? Resident Evil Anthology on PS3 that has physical discs of Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I, I 1, 2, and 3, that. really? Like like the PS1 versions? I, I, I do have some Resident Evil physical things from Japan. Uh, whoa. Uh, that... You know, I, I did not include it in this this video. Um, Sonic one is and uh, I, I would like to do it. I would like to do that in a future video. Yes. So I mean, I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of so people saying, like, many... I can't believe you didn't cover this. And there's going to be so much of that because yeah. if if we were to do all this stuff, it would be like a like a six hour video. <laughs> yeah. And we decided that we are going to just, we want to do multiple videos because it's, yeah. it's kind of a fun idea. It is. And uh, we can just cover a variety of, of stuff and just stuff that we like really just feel like. You know? Yeah, yeah. And you know, I mean, there, there's like definitely some heavy hitters that aren't in this, like the orange box isn't in it. Um, yeah. Uh, Rare Replay's not in it. Um, you know, so those are, those are subjects to cover for, for next time. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'd be like me having to cut myself on the Nintendo Switch Online controller video. And that video was, was two hours, basically, I think. Um, but I think we, we have plenty of, of these that we can at least... I bet we could get at least, like, five videos out of it over time. At least. Um, and it's like, you know, it's just, it's an easily reproducible idea. And it's just, it's, it's fascinating. I think. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, but, so there's a whole thing that, you know, we, uh, have all this stuff, like this, all this digital eclipse stuff. Like we were even there, like filmed all kinds of this stuff when we were shooting stuff for M2 and they said, oh, do you want to like film other things here? When we were there, like it was like 2018. I just like never did anything with it. Although this, I have a whole uh, bit that I wanted to do on digital eclipse in this video, and I thought uh, I feel like I would not be able to do it justice with the amount of time that we have. Uh, so, yeah. But that'll definitely be like a whole part. Yeah. I mean, I even wrote a video. section for the orange box that I was just yeah. like, I I can't I can't make it work the way I would want it to in this episode and this amount of time. So mm -hmm. I'll save it for another. I mean, the orange box is actually kind of interesting because it just, it actually just barely counts for our criteria because our criteria is previously released games uh, being packaged to together. Be. And the fact of the matter is portal half-life two episode two and team fortress two were released day and date with the orange box, but half-life right. two 
and Half-Life 2 Episode 1 were previously released. So because of those two, I say it counts. But yeah, it's 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 kind of a kind of a weird case. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there's there's a whole bunch. And, you know, you've mentioned the Lethal Enforcers and I'll I'll definitely put that that in this. But I was just looking at the discs of that and it's like it's expensive. The Lethal Enforcers one and two collection. And you can only use Konami's own gun with it. Although there is um, gun con patched versions. It, this is just the layout. It's not the actual TV. It would be cool if it was. I mean, it would be possible, but it would not look as clean. <laughs> as it uh, it's uh, that 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 TV is uh, it's it's the PlayStation 3D TV. Except <laughs> I cut the speaker wings off of it, you know, in the layout, and also obviously replaced the the Sony text. Yeah, these are all photographs I took of things that I own. Yeah, um, the Wii does have some uh, sweet compilations. Uh, I'll be specifically covering the uh, the arcade hits pack, which has Gunblade New York and LA Machine Guns on it, and House of the Be House of the Te Dead One and Two, or Two and Three Returns. But yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch. I mean, I could. It's it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, looking at what we had, and, and there's like five pages of stuff that's just not even in this. And that's like single spaced <laughs> lists. Wait, what is this? Is this like a challenge stage? It's a charge for awesome video tracking shots. Like the slider stuff. I mean, I think that when we did that, uh, like when I released that NAS video, people are like, oh, you should, um, you should like license out your footage. Like the, like the B-roll stuff. And it's something I would consider doing. I, I don't know if I can take that and put it up on like stock footage sites or not. I should look into that. Maybe I would do that, like if, if the channel was was dead. <laughs> I'd do that and just like have it be like a nice little like extra extra income somehow. Ah, oh, one hit ends it, huh? You know, I I would think that the Namco Classic Collections are in more uh, platforms than any other, and you know, I was so I was looking, I looked on Moby Games, and I saw at least. Uh, 25 different releases and the, and the Namco Museum collection, like series, uh, in 30 years. But I still think that Sega is the, the king of the hill when it comes to uh, repackaging their classic games. because they have so many big and small collections. Whoa, whoa. Aww. Yeah, Metroid Prime is not is on the list. I don't think it's in this episode. Do you you know, do you talk about Metroid Prime trilogy? No. The, tr the trilogy? Uh no. No, I mean there there is going to be there's so much much. But uh, like, I'm I, really I, going out of my way to like not mention the Sega Ages stuff. Like yeah. I am not I say in the video that I don't want to like I, I've talked about the Sega Age of stuff a lot and across different videos so I'm gonna keep things fresh here right I mean but I, I have Metroid Prime Trilogy so it'll probably appear in a future one of these yeah oh yeah I mean it's on our list and like I, don't, I just hope that people like it because it's fun to fun to do right and, and I, also, think it, like, I, I think it'll like, like, well, it's, it's, e it's an easier subject now. ah dang it I gotta has, do this. You know, wider appeal, I guess. It's 
So are you enjoying this or what? I, I gotta say it's pretty fun. It's just... I'm sure it's just fine. It's just fine. It's, uh... Huh? I, I mean, it looks like it's... You know, what you'd expect. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's kind of like a... I mean, I'm playing a mini game right now, but... I mean, it's kind of like a... Like a set piece game, almost. Yeah. You know, which is... Which is kind of neat. Like, each... Each episode seems to be pretty... You know elaborately designed from moment to moment. Yeah. You know, it's, uh... Can I, can I ask you a question? Hmm. Do you think that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has too many minigames in it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, some of them are really good. Some of them are a little bad. Yeah. But, like, I, I get why it has so many, because it's like... I, I feel like the mini games were a big part of the identity of the original game. I, I thought that there's too many in the original game too. I mean that that is true, but they they were a big part of the identity of it. I would say. Yeah. All right. Silver. I'm. Do silver. I really get why there are so many? I mean, huh? Um, Mr. Das is asking. Uh, do you really get why there are so many? Do you really get why there are so many? I mean. I get why there are so many because they were important in the original, but there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of new ones. They, they're very variable in quality. I would say. Yeah. I see uh, Ryan in the chat saying y'all play puppeteer. This, that does this way better. I'm not too far into my playthrough yet. Might be surprised. You know what? Maybe I'll play puppeteer next week. Oh yeah. I, I've You've... beaten it before, but I haven't played it in, since it came out. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got day one. Um, yeah. Same here. Every time here. I go back to it, I'm, I'm always like really confused about how, how to, how to play it. Cause it's like, got like the scissors and stuff. Yeah. Where you can like go along the yeah. background. But like, I mean, I see this as being a different game because that, that, I mean, it, it is similar in that it's, it's very intricately, designed from episode to episode. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put that on my list. I'm gonna, maybe I'll stream that next week. Uh, you know, and, you know, you're doing all these. It, it is kind of set PC in the same way, you know, because everything has to be intricately designed. I would say you're right. It is a more elaborate game than this. But I, I, I think this is pretty fun. I, I am enjoying myself as, you know, as a, Anything like super spectacular? No. But, um, you know, I think it's got a lot of fun personality to it and is, is fun to play. Yeah. But back to those mini games real quick. I, the, the, I think the worst one, and I just could not figure it out, and I, I explained it to you, and you were able to figure it out. Yeah. But there's that one where you got to, like, pull the mushrooms out. Did you ever successfully get any mushroom? No, not a single I mean, one. You, you, if you fail, you still get it anyways. But, but it it's always, not as, like it's not as good. Yes. So, I mean, the first one only has three points that you have to get right. I, well, I tried to, but it's like I thought that I figured it out, and then you it, to, it didn't matter. It's like you, I was still doing it wrong every time. Well, I mean, you should be able to figure out what's the first. You can figure out what's the first, second, and third by. I know. Well, I was doing it, but, and you know, you can kind of uh, tell by how hard you got to pull the trigger. Like what order? Right, but it'll, it'll, it'll tell you like, if you, if, if you got the, the first one right and the second one right, you'll know. Okay. Well, I didn't get a single one right. Well, then I don't like, especially with that first one where there's only three points. Like I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. And I, and you know, like I, I tried reading the, uh, like I read. You do, you go from the, the you go, the, you, you, you go multiple you, times. Well, you, you, you see like which angle has the most tension or, or excuse me, the least, the most pliability. 
The one where it moves the farthest is the one you start with, and the one where it moves the least is the one you end with. Well, I don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's like, it, I will never do that minigame again. I mean, I assume it's you just, just got like that, some better reward or something if you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I felt like it was, it just it did not, I could not figure it out. And every time I said, I think that I understand this, I like screw it up like on the first point. Like there, I, that there was every single time. I mean, I'm not going to say what it was, but you know, in the open world area that I just finished, there was a, a side quest that honestly seemed kind of important, like from a story standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, and there were like multiple phases where you had to, you had to uh, examine these points that were, uh, uh, they were, they were being uh, attacked by monsters and you had to, like, defend certain points. I'm not talking about the minigame. I'm talking about... I'm talking about those life springs that you had to save. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And I... One of them was destroyed. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I and think, I, think, yeah, I was yeah. curious if the... If maybe there was, like, if I missed a story segment... Um, right. By that one being destroyed. Because it, yeah, it, it seemed, destroyed. honestly, as far as the side quests go, it seemed like the one that was possibly the most, uh, the most significant to the main story. Just in turn, in, in the sense that it, it really felt like it was revealing information that was... Potentially relevant to some of the expanded details. Mm -hmm. um, so I was I, I was curious if I missed anything, but I don't know. Uh, Brandon Arnold saying, "I want to see a an Emily with a with uh, games or mini games you do not understand and you can't do research to figure it out as part of the prep." <laughs> well, I mean, I, 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 I mean, sure, I could look it up, but it's you know. When you are playing a game that you have not uh, read anything on, right? You know, and you need to like, you want to Google something like that. You are like potentially setting yourself up for getting information that you did not want to know. Exactly. Yeah, I I I don't want to look at anything up about you know a game like that until I until I finished it. You know, I just, I don't even want to, want to chance it. Yep. Not, not even a single Google, Google search. Right. Well, it's, I'm, uh, Kebab's saying I, I do goids, uh, I do guides, goids. I do, I, I write some goids. <laughs> when I do guides, I avoid talking about the story at all. Yeah. Yes, but I mean, and that's that's you. But who knows what will also if you Google this, like yeah. what else is going to come up on that page? Exactly. And and you know, also just like you could accidentally read a comment on the page, you know, yes, or something like that, that reveals much more than you wanted to know. Yep. Especially when it's like fairly far into the game. Or you know, maybe that guide covers multiple parts of the game and you know you you see something you didn't you weren't up to yet you know right yeah i mean that's exactly the that's exactly the thing you know i don't uh i managed to completely avoid any kind of spoiler for this. But yeah, I mean, trying to figure out uh, mini games without un without understanding or whatever that, I mean, that's actually a funny idea. I mean, I, I that's Blitzball for me. Yeah. Like, I, I, you know, the first two times I played through Final Fantasy X, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to try to 
I'm going like, I'm going to try and take this mini game seriously. I'm going, I'm going like, I spent like 45 minutes, like very carefully reading all of the tutorials. I mean, maybe longer than that. Like, oh, I'm like, okay, okay. All right. I think I get everything. And then it starts up and it's like nothing that I just spent the past hour reading feels like it applies at all. Like yeah. whatever is happening in front of me, I feel like I have zero control over. <laughs> and then the second time I played through Final Fantasy X, I'm like, all right, all right. You know, I, I, I now know, like, you know, maybe some things to look out for. You know, I, I know I got to read this really carefully because it didn't make any sense last time. And I read it all and I'm like, okay, all right, all right, okay. I think I get it this time. And then it starts up and it's just, no, no. Like, it, it, it blows my mind that there are people who are like, oh, I love Blitzball. I, I, I am so curious how they learned to play it. Yeah. So curious. So curious. I mean, I, I gave up 100% in Final Fantasy X when I realized getting Waka's ultimate weapon would involve playing Blitzball. Like I would do all of the, I would have been willing to do, you know, the infamous like lightning dodges and all that. I did the lightning dodges. I, I honestly, I can't remember. I might have, but I'm not sure. Um, I like if, if you did not do that, I'd be, be shocked. I, but, but that, what I'm saying is that is like the infamous one. But for me, like playing blitz ball is like, that's that, that, that's the bridge too far. Yeah. Uh, there was a uh, two pounds from uh, from JL. Thank you. Saying a chat GBT is good for tips without the spoilers. Really? Hmm. But I mean, I I don't know if I don't I don't know if does would GPT know about you know a video game that was released like a week or two ago? I don't know. It's it's probably learning at an exponential rate. Well, because like you know, when it's it's probably you know when J Chat GPT first started becoming a big thing, they said that it had um, had limited uh, knowledge of like events, like for the past year or something. Just pulls information from what's already available on the internet. And it's... I don't know. It's going to turn us all against ourselves. Eventually. They should bring back the Sega hotline. 1-800-USA-SEGA. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've talked about that a bunch, about how when I was in, like, you know, fourth, fifth <coughs> grade, I, like, would call that up all the time and just talk to people. Yeah. Did it cost anything? No, it was the 800 number. I don't know. Like, you look at. You used to see all those. Uh, uh, like those TV ads for like, 900 numbers. And there's like 900 numbers for anything. And like the, the prices of those things were like insane. Absolutely insane. Well, I mean, I, you know, First, I. Like, I three minutes are free and then it's $4.99 every minute afterwards. I, I called the, the Nintendo help number a few times, you know, and it, it, I don't remember what it cost, but it did cost money. Yeah. But not probably not four ninety nine per minute after the first three minutes. No. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. It's, the, the, that is crazy. Like back in, that, in nineties money. In nineties. Yes. I mean, that would be like, I mean, what, I mean, look, can, can you like easily Google like the conversion of like, like say like 1994 to 
you know, 2000 versus 2004 dollars. Like how much, how much that would be. Yeah, probably. I mean, if I look at an inflation calculator. No, you've got to be able to find one out there, I'm sure. You can find the value of U.S. dollars from 1913 to 2024. If in 1994, I purchased an item for <laughs> $3.99. Or four ninety nine. I'd do four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. No. Come on, this is not. This can't. What was it saying? This, this, this is. This has got to be wrong. What is it saying? <laughs> this. Oh, oh, wait. Hang on. There we go. Okay. I had to hit the calculate button. <laughs> what, what, if in nineteen ninety four I purchased an item for four ninety nine, then in twenty twenty four that same item would cost ten dollars and forty five cents. Okay, so it's like double. Yeah. What was it saying? It was saying thirty one dollars. <laughs> then I had to hit calculate. I, you know, I say that at, at the very beginning of this episode yeah yeah because i talk about how i paid you know if you look at the uh little card that came in in the copies of chrono trigger you could order final fantasy 3s directly from square for 89.99 that's insane and then like five years later it's part of this two game package yes it's it's worse it runs worse with low times but in you know five years later you can buy that and final fantasy 5 for half that price That, uh, that, I thought that was a really interesting way to start off the episode. I wouldn't have thought of taking that perspective. But Why, what, was yeah, that price it, it, ever actually used of... in any, like, retail stores? What's that? Was that price ever actually used in any retail stores? I mean, I feel like it was, like, at least, like, seventy nine ninety nine. Probably, like yeah. I mean, game prices varied from store to store much more back then than they do now. Yeah, and I just knew that, you know, I was paying that because that was something that I really wanted. And, you know, like that, I, that's back then I would just like mow lawns all summer and use that money to pre order the games that I wanted to get. You know, and, and Final Fantasy III came out in October of 94. So I, you know, I had that pre ordered months and months and months ahead of time. Thank you very much. That's, I mean, that's what I say. You know, a lot of people talk about games being so expensive today. And back then they had to pay for so many components. Right. In, in the cartridge. And now like it's, you just exchange those, uh, components for like people, <laughs> I guess. You know, how many more people do they take to make now? Yeah. And, and when you think about it in that and like how expensive games are, then it's kind of amazing that they're not like double the price, honestly. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just It's just interesting to think about how you go from that to Final Fantasy Anthology, and it's half the price with both of those games. Now. Uh, KG, uh, Kaylee Gamer, KG, uh, says, uh, games got too bloated. And, you know, for the most part, I would agree with you. Um, I've been thinking a lot about how, with prices going up, I, I could see them taking like a like a yakuza type approach where sequels will reuse the uh the cities and areas and just like expand them just you know what spider-man 2 did where it took like new york and then added brooklyn in tears of the kingdom you know, just expanded it and 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 it's fine i think that's 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 totally fine 
And in fact, especially with the Yakuza, I am I, I find myself more and more appreciating that I don't have to learn a new city every single game. Maybe I got to learn like a a, a a small area of a new city, or like a new area of the the city that I know really well. And I just I find myself appreciating that because, you know, I think that's a a problem with open worlds like having to learn so many of them. Well, yeah, and you, you, you can't just feel like you're going through the motions after you've been doing them for so long. Right. You can't remember them, you know, you can't yeah. remember, you know, the layout and stuff. And, you know, I, I can, you know, I've, I've only played Yakuza Zero, so I'll see how I feel about what you're talking about as I get into the Yakuza games. But that uh, or more in, into the other entries, but. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I can kind of understand what you're saying there. Yeah. You, you just, you learn to appreciate the cities more and that they just, what they basically do is open up more storefronts or, you know, in, in four, you can go, uh, like down to the sewers or like down to the, uh, um, like a big parking garage area. And they also add in like rooftops. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't doubt that that is why they are able to make Spider-Man 2 so fast. So much faster than you'd expect. Because they just added on to that city. Yeah, the... I don't know when I'll get around the plane. Yeah, because of uh, infinite wealth, it's going to be a long time probably at this point. Uh, I do need to get back to my list of stuff, though. I was thinking about playing Landstalker next. Yeah, I, I, I need to get back to my list, too. But, uh, you know, big RPGs take up, your, take up your time. Yeah. I was thinking about doing Landstalker on my on the Twitch streams. I was gonna go right into Yakuza 2, but maybe I'll do Landstalker. That'd be kind of fun, I think. On the other hand, Tears of the Kingdom took longer to develop than Breath of the Wild, despite using reusing so much. Yeah, I wonder if that just has to do with the fact that there's a lot more uh, complicated systems that work behind the scenes. Yeah. Well. I mean, I heard something about how they spent like an entire year just making sure that the the Alster hand would work as well as they did. Right. Well, I mean, I I didn't read all the details, but I believe they did a a GDC talk. Oh, really? Yeah, where you know they were talking about all the different all the different systems in place uh, that, you know, it's, it sounds like so much of the, like for as similar as it seems on the surface, like it sounds like almost everything is actually totally different in the way that it's constructed. Like, like I, I, it, there, I was reading something about how there's like all these nodes. Mm -hmm. Um, there's, there's all these nodes like around the world that are just like probing, like, you know, can, can I do this? Can I do that? You know, can you do use the, um, you know, the, the, the fly up through the, through the ceiling thing and how like the, there's all these nodes that are like describing how the sound systems work and stuff like that. That I think, I think all that stuff is not a part of breath of the wild. But I, I, I didn't really, really read that in depth. But it's pretty... It, it sounds like the game is actually very different. Mm. 
Yeah, you you had Dark Savior on your. Yeah, on your it's kind of funny how we we both picked a sort of related games there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I look forward to getting back to my list. But. Yeah, I, I, I after I finish that. Rebirth, I I do want to pick up my save file in Final Fantasy VII that I made, you know. Right, you want to do the same thing as what I'm doing with right the Switch version, but you know, I like I don't even want it to be a challenge. I don't want to have to like grind or do anything. So I'm just like, what I like about that version is you can just like turn the 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 three X speed for stuff and just like re refill your health at any point and automatically put yourself into like a limit break. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I, it's nice because I just want to, I just want to do the story stuff. I mean, I I played that entire part of Final Fantasy VII like in a day in the summer one time, so yeah. you know, it's I could probably get through it quite quickly. Mm. But I, I am gonna play it on PS One just because I have that save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, you know, we're gonna do another discussion. I think spoiler discussion, etc. Uh, like we did with the last one. Like I know it's of less interest to a lot of people, uh, but we just want to do it because we did it last time. Why not? Yeah, and it's fun, and it's it's just I think it's fun to just kind of just to chat about that. that stuff. Yep, I mean, that's that's basically what we're doing. Just doing what we want to. Yep. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I will be right back. What am I supposed to do? Press B in front of a lock to disable it. Peach here, she's the Phantom Thieves, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think it's ooh, what was that? That was weird. Um, oh, is this one of those secret? Ah, I honestly think this game is pretty fun. I mean, I guess it's about what I expected, even though I didn't know what to expect. Got it. Uh, you know, I, I kind of was expecting a variety game because I was like, how, what else could this even be? Oops. Uh, but it's, uh, it's pretty fun, I think. I've pretty much already seen the transformations that were uh, yes. at least what was shown on the box. They probably showed some more on Nintendo Direct, but I didn't. I can't see. I remember them. Oh crap! Uh, oh. Okay, there's something up there. I want it. I want it. Uh oh! Out! Out! Not my best work getting up here. Oh, 
how did we decide on it? Uh, just decided to play it because I knew nothing about it. I thought that'd be fun to figure out on stream. What's that? Well, I was just saying how I didn't know anything about it going into it. Oh, about this game, yeah. Yeah. Does she have like a name when she's in this form? Uh, there was, there was some NPCs say something about like, called it ma something mask with a with a with a uh, Q S Q E. Oh yeah, okay. Mr. Do says, I'm still trying to figure out try on stream. What is that even supposed to be? <laughs> no. Fig figure me out. I don't know, man. I do not know. I had to go and look at that, uh, uh, if that video of anybody from this stream had, like, uh... Wait, what video? Had posted, I had to go to that, 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 that tier uh, ranking video to see if anybody, uh, had commented. Oh. You know, after, after we had mentioned it. And, uh, there's, there's only one. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I won't read it here. It's just it's saying that they ranking us over uh, someone else over us is unhinged. We're now in F minus. Uh, try as a, a 3DS capture card. I do. I do. Oh, I guess I do have one, but I've never really used it. I bought it from, uh, what's his face? Um, I can't think of his name. Oh, you bought it from, uh, Carsey? From Carsey. Yeah. I forgot that you have, is, is it, is it a Katsu Kitty or is it a Loopy? Uh, I think it's a Katsu Kitty. Because if it's a Katsu like Kitty... If I get, um, I can plug it directly in just USB to directly into the computer and it'll show up in OBS. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. Really? Maybe I need to like run an app. It might be an app that I need to run. I don't need a Raspberry Pi though. Well, cause I was going to say I could get you, I could give you the one I have if, um, although you have a Pi, a Pi three, right? I mean, all you have to do is just put the appropriate SD card in it. Right. I don't know. It's not something that I feel is like high up on my, my list of, of wants or desires right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I probably should um, mess around with it a little bit more. I don't even know if I hacked that system. I mean, I, as far as I, I heard, I think that even the uh, the 3DS hack stuff has like been pulled on, pulled down. 
off like GitHub, whatever it is. The um... wait, oh really? Like like the method of of hacking it has been pulled down off of GitHub. Was that the the Pokemon or thing? No, or, I think there's another way to do it. Yeah, I know there's another way to because I haven't done okay, it. Okay, three of stuff hack of stuff is still around. I guess I thought it just got. It went away. Everyone's... Wait, oh, is it Citra? Maybe Citra is the thing that got pulled on. Maybe I was getting it. Right, right, right. Mixed up. I, I was surprised, though. Did, did you do the thing where you could do that, uh, that side-loading stuff on the Quest 3? Uh, I enabled it, but I haven't had a... Like, there's, like a, there's a version of Citra just available there. <laughs> Oh yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Which I I thought it was like all pulled, so I was surprised. Yeah. I wonder if uh, I mean I'm sure there's a uh, um, Virtual Boy one also. Yeah. Although that I I still have to try that Virtual Boy emulator on the 3ds oh i i got i got to we i got to try it uh we, we visited a guy in germany uh when yeah, i was there right. who had already done it yeah it's it's awesome yeah i i can imagine that it's would be it's really cool well it what what surprised me was you know the virtual boy i think is 50 hertz mm -hmm. uh but it like it didn't like I played Wario Land and like you know it it didn't look overly juddery to my eyes, so it was it it, it actually worked really well and like the um, the aspect ratio is actually a really good fit for the 3DS screen as well, which I didn't I didn't really expect. Hmm. Yeah, I was I was really surprised. It's very impressive. But I really want to try it in the Quest 3 as well. I downloaded several emulators. Including it looked like one, like the screenshots made it look like you actually like hold like a physical Game Boy Color. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's weird. Like, I mean, a physical, a virtual physical. <laughs> uh, uh, Game Boy Color. Yeah, I thought that was a fun idea. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's what I've done with mine. Uh, you know, I have I have not updated it though uh, in a while. Like, hopefully, it doesn't really need to have any updates to it. What maybe it was the FBI thing that got pulled down? FBI like, that was a up thing, like the FBI thing that runs the uh, the CIA fi files. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. I it's been a while since I hacked my system, so I don't remember too much. But maybe it was the, that was the thing I heard that got pulled down, like the FBI app for it. Um But I think that I need to uh look into it. So I mean here's something that I've wanted to do for a long time that I'm not sure I'm sure that somebody in the chat can help me with it. Um so I have a soft modded Xbox. I have a one terabyte mechanical hard drive in it. I think it's soft modded, has a bunch of games on it. What I want to do is I just want to swap out that mechanical hard drive for an SSD. Is that, I, and I can't seem to find any specific tutorials of how to do that. Everything I, I see is like, here's how to soft mod from the, from the very start. There's I, just all like... I want to do is like, somehow just transfer from a mechanical hard drive over to an SSD. There, there's just like so Xbox. many like things you can do on original Xbox that it's just like, it's just frankly so confusing. Like, well, you could do this or this or that, or use this, this front end or that front end. And I'm not worried about it reading much faster. I'm just worried about like, less moving parts right. and the fact that it's just you know it might be a little quieter I'm not expecting any sort of speed improvement at all it's for sure <laughs> take care Rooney 
But that's all I want to do is I just want to up I just want to upgrade the drive that's in it. That's already soft modded. It has a bunch of stuff on it. I just want to transfer it all over to this new hard drive. Uh, the PO box stuff is should be at the very bottom of like the, the stream page. Um, if you scroll down on this page, it should be the very bottom. It should have information for that stuff. If the SSD can oh, be locked, it's the same as starting from OEM Xbox with the process and clone the old drives to a new one with the Hexen app. The software mod needs lockable hard drives or SSD. Easiest way is to get a hard drive kind of just put a new and old drive in at once and you can just so if I just got one of those like dual like USB like the like the cloner things, it would do it. That would work totally fine. I mean that's the thing is like I just want. A, I mean I the SSD can absolutely uh, crap out too, but I just feel as though it probably might last longer than. Mechanical, right? I mean, okay. here's the th here's the thing, you know. Yes, SSDs have like, you know, only so many reads and writes, but like, how how much are you really doing on with an original Xbox these days? Like, yeah. I, I feel I mean, like a decent amount if you if you want to, but right, right, right. But my, but I mean, even like a PS3, like. You know, I, I, I put an SSD in my PS3 when the PS4 came out. And, you know, it, it actually does speed up the um, uh, uh, navigating the XMB a, a good bit. Um, but the, the thing is, like, yeah, I use my PS3 sometimes, but, like, I not anywhere near enough to, like, really wear out that SSD. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm unconcerned. Yeah. Uh, Stefan is saying read writes aren't the issue. Long-term storages and HD hard drives might be a bit better in that regard. Unless there's a random impact. Wait, when your power goes out and you're on a generator, what do you got? Um, I got some UPSs that I'm gonna last. They're gonna last long enough for me to save yeah. my work and. Gosh, you know, I, 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 I got down this whole like rabbit hole of like reading. Like I was reading some conversation about like, you know, like, oh, mo most UPSs are actually junk and, you know, they don't do yeah, the, yeah. they don't yeah. do the, uh, oh, what is it? The, um, the, the sine wave right, yeah, power yeah, yeah. thing. And like, like some things, will, oh, it's only simulated sine wave. And like, I don't like, like people say that it, that it, I, I'm not dismissing that it matters, but like, I, I also get the impression that like people could potentially be so hung up on it to the point where it 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 is it is not at all obvious to me whether uh, they are they're talking about like like okay like th does this matter for what I'm using it for or or does it only matter if like, you know, I, I need like some sort of like respirator machine to work or something, you know, like, yeah, like it, like, does it matter for me? I don't know. Like granted, right. I am doing some unusual things like, uh, CRTs and whatnot, but like, does it matter if I am like, does it, you know, for, for example, would it, let, 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 let's say the power goes out. 
does the UP does a UPS that you know has sine wave protect my equipment any better if they're if they're just if they're off? Or or does it not matter at all if they're off? Right? Right. Like that that I, I'm just saying I don't know. I, I truly don't know. And I think that's the reality of a lot, a lot of things is that so many devices will say it does this and this and this. And a lot of times it's not actually doing what it's, it's supposed to be doing and it's not as good. And all this stuff is just there to give us this false hope that everything will be okay. <laughs> and if, if something breaks or something stops like working correctly, it's just we want to be uh, assured that maybe it's going to be okay. And if when it's not, then we'll yeah. I don't know. I mean, Unless luckily it's never it's never not then, been okay so for, far. What's that? It's never not been okay so far, as far as you know. I, I've never had electronics die in a power outage. The closest thing is sometimes after sometimes when the power went out, um, my old Samsung TV's HDMI ports would stop working. And they would start working again if I left it unplugged for a while. Mm. Uh, there was uh, two dollars from Warren Hokey saying, "I need a sector by sector copy. Try Clonezilla." Will that work with, with, without a mod chip? If, I, if I'm not chipping the system, if I just want to uh, have like a soft mod and like, does does that work? So, I, I was I, I was talking to uh, Ganny Man about this a few months ago. You, you, you know Ganny Man. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We hang Where's out with in uh, Connecticut. Final Fantasy Eleven server. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. He was talking about how the PSX, you know, the the um, the the Japanese uh, PS2, uh, oh, what's 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 the what's the term? You know, just kind of one of those media box things. Um, I I think the I think he said something about like. Um, I don't know what the term for it would be, but you know, like I, I think the the hard drive is like you know signed to the system, and I don't think I don't think you can just like create a copy of of a drive that would then like work on another system. So you know, there's like kind of some complicated things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Warren Hokey, I already have a. Uh... I DVR, need a SATA that's interface word. already in, in, in my system. I have like a SATA terabyte hard drive in there already. So I already got a converter in place. Is Clonezilla a uh, a free program, I wonder? I don't I don't mind paying for it if it's gonna work. Well we were we were also kinda kinda musing over whether, you know, we we were talking about hard drives on on that and hard drives on the on the PS2 and I, I gave him a backup of my PS2 hard drive and he wanted to tinker around with it and see if he could uh, right, right figure anything out but he it, it he he wasn't able to do what he had hoped to with it but you know because we had talked about like man what if there could be a way to we we the the motivation out there would be so slight, but like I, I, I would, I would love to be able to, uh, you know, get private servers working for like the PS2 and Xbox 360 versions of Final Fantasy 11. Just because, like, I, I, like most people will be like, well, why would you want to do that? The, you know, the the PC version is better, and you can. You can play that on official Square Enix servers. You can play it on, you know, reverse engineered, um, reverse engineered uh, uh, community run servers, private servers. And uh, 
I, but I, I still feel like, you know, the, the, those are like an important part of the story of, of Final Fantasy XI and an important part of their context and history. And I, I regret that I wasn't able to like capture the, I mean, I could have if I had really wanted to, but it just didn't occur to me at the time. Like I should like capture good quality footage of this version of the game, right? Right. While you can still do but it. You did. I didn't. didn't you? Oh. No, uh, Final Fantasy 14 1.0, I captured a little bit, but it's it's not very good. Oh, I see. But Final Fantasy 11, like PS2, like the console versions were discontinued in like, I don't know, 2016 well, I thought maybe? that's why you recorded all that footage. I mean, that's back then. But I thought that, oh, that's oh, but that was the that, PC that version. Tour video. Oh, the Van, the Van Deal Tour? That was the PC yeah. version. Oh, oh, okay. Which is still, I mean, you know, a lot of people, like, I feel like probably, like, it, maybe more than 50% of people, like, just assume that Final Fantasy XI is, like, long gone, and it's not. Like, you, you can still play it on official Square Enix servers. Okay. But you can, you can play it on private servers as well. Right. I don't know, just like here, like reading what everybody's saying about doing this hard drive to a SSD. I mean, so it's it's tough. It does it does not seem like it's as easy as you'd expect. It's too bad you can't just clone it using the interface by using the um, like a uh, like a controller port to USB adapter and then using a USB to SS or SATA thing have it like mounting and just cloning it in there in the in the on the system I thought that maybe there would be something in pay, in place for that but there's not as far as I know I mean maybe there is maybe that's what that uh one program that the person earlier mentioned is was was Henry Clark asking about uh, it is. has no one created private service for um the 1.0 version of uh Final Fantasy 14, I, I assume is what he's asking about. Um, I, it, I believe that the last time I looked into it, it was at a pretty early state. Um, but uh, I, I don't know what it's like now. <laughs> but uh, but that, that's definitely something I'm very interested in doing sometime. It's like actually playing that on, playing the story in that on a private server. Um, but yeah, like the, like people just, there's no, okay. mo there's no, most people just, there's, there's no motivation, uh, to do the, um, to do the, the, to do the, the PS2 and 360 versions in terms of private servers, uh, reverse engineering, just because people are like, well, we can play the PC version. That's better. But I, I'd love okay. to be able to do it, you know, just just for just, just just so you can capture that, you know, so that so that that experience, that console experience, uh, you know, isn't isn't gone. I uh, Red Wolfie is like talking about everyone's saying like, oh, use chimp. But I, I love the fact that this is what the. Uh... This app is called. It's like it's it's a real pain. I just had to do a new hard drive for my original X Xbox, and had to use Fat Explorer Beta sixty four. <laughs> Fat Explorer Beta sixty four. That's which made everything easier. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna Fat say Explorer Beta sixty four. Fat Fat Explorer Beta sixty four. Now you're going to have to do a video about this just so you can say that in a video. What is it? Three, like three, 256 days? Put that over. What is like the... Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? K K Kingdom Hearts days? Fat Explorer Beta 64. <laughs> By over 256 two. days. Over, over 256 days. <laughs> yeah. 
Isn't that what it's called? What was it? Like it's something. It's something, something that doesn't so make any stupid. sense. Yeah. It's it's some real Nomura going yeah. on. Okay, so chimp. So can I just use chimp like within the? Uh, can I just do a? I don't have to hot swap the drives or anything, do I? That's the main thing. Is that I don't want to hot swap. Oh, by by divided by two days. Is it by two or is it? Well, and whatever that means, I don't know. I thought it was two hundred fifty-six. Three hundred forty-five divided by two days. <laughs> Man, they were they were they were on some stuff. I'll look up Chimp and I'll look up Fat Explorer Beta 64. Okay, it's 358 days with two characters. Master Safer says it's stupid because there's two characters. It's because there's two characters. So because Kingdom Heart 2's prologue covers the last seven days of Roxas's vacation, the game covers the other 358 days of the year. What about the over two? Yeah, from from two characters' point of views, maybe. I don't know. I played that game, but I remember nothing about it. Never forget that delicious ice cream. And okay, okay. Minor, minor, minor rebirth spoiler. At some point in the game, you see Elena eating that ice cream. From Kingdom Hearts? The the blue sea salt ice cream. Uh-huh. Is that from Kingdom Hearts? Well, I mean, I think it's from real life, but like... It's it's a big deal in Kingdom Hearts. Hmm. Is, is is eating ice cream a spoiler? I yeah. mean, I mean, look, 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 kebabs. Uh, we, I, I, I feel like we're we're like very when it comes to stuff like that. I feel like we're very spoiler sensitive. I think like almost anything could be a spoiler, right? Yeah. Whatever happened to Professor Layton? There's just like one, is like a, isn't there like a Phoenix Wright crossover? Huh? The, oh, the, the Phoenix Wright crossover? It's really yeah. good. Has that been like re-released on anything? No, it's only on 3DS. I think it's pretty expensive now, the physical copy. Yeah, you, do you have it? Mm-hmm. It's really good. What happened to that series? There was like, there, it seemed like there were so many of them. Or do you, like, did you have them all? Oh, Professor... Professor Layton or Phoenix Wright? Yeah, for, uh, Professor Layton. I, I only ever have had the first one in the series. And Layton versus Ace Attorney. Okay. Wait, does Rebirth has a Daytona, Daytona USA uh, reference in it? I did not know that. Okay, Urameshi, I saw your note on Discord. I will uh, take a look at that link. Wait, what? Yes, yeah, 
strike of intuition. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, I can, I can do a wrong strike of intuition, though. <laughs> okay. Making stuff up. Ao the clown. Ao. Four on PS4 or five. It's two point five D. Very much trying to copy Klonoa. Is that the one that, that that's coming from? Let me run the Ao the clown. Is that what it is? I you know I know what I want to get. Is that, I, get uh, that, that, I mean, li limited run had that a long time ago. Is it the Ao the clown? No, I mean that. Um, I I have no idea Ayo. what. Okay, I mean, I see this Ao the clown. I, I, I have no idea it. what that what that game was, but uh, uh, the, the, there's a different game coming from Limited Run. It's called. Um, I'm drawing a blank of what it's called, but it very much looks like a mix of. Uh... uh very much a mix of uh, uh, Klonoa, Mischief Makers, and uh, Tomba. Uh, yeah, this this air of the clown kind of looks like. It's like a platform, but then it has these uh, that look like almost like Parappa or um, um Jam or Lammy cutscene stuff. Come up here, Sandy. I just had like a bunch of stuff show up from Limited Run that I ordered. Uh, a long time ago, um, but you know, as bad as that is, is like as is is behind as they are in a lot of stuff. Uh, strictly limited, like I am like waiting on things from 2022. I mean, it's a whole like discussion. Like we we've, we've talked about this yeah. like so many times about how many of these things are like behind. Yeah, I mean, um, I've I never like gotten I anything from a game called Clemson, Crimson Clover from like one press games or something like that in 2021. I, th I think there might be first, some. Oh, first I've first press with. game for or is like like one press games or first press. I thought it was first press or first. I don't know. I, I don't think the limited runs in financial trouble. I do wonder if strictly limited is in financial trouble, though, because I feel like I get emails almost every single day saying like, you know, get three of our limited editions for $66 or something like that. Uh, I, uh, I mean, I've, I've never gotten anything. <laughs> it's strictly delayed. I, I've never gotten anything from first press games or whatever it's called. Like I, I they, well, they, I order they, had, they had, they had, um, I they were the one that had that, that like RP, that like RPG that was like done by like one guy that was, people were raving about a while back. That was them, right? That did the physical of that. Or what is it? Pre-order for it anyway. Uh, th there was like that RPG that everyone was saying was really good. Oh, 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 yeah. The, um, mm -hmm. what was it called? Like something Edge or something like that? Yeah, I can't remember what it was called. But, uh, yeah, I ordered that for them. I haven't gotten that. And I, I think they also had, I think they were also the ones that, or maybe it was strictly limited. Someone had Jet Cave Adventure. That was strictly limited. Okay, first press games okay. is who had Crimson Clover. And I ordered that September 12th, 2021. Wow. Like, did like, they have any update on that? <laughs> I, I'm going to visit their store right now. I feel like these might be the people that had that that game. Um, it's like Blades of Eternity or something like that. Was that what the, that game was? I forgot what it was called. This is this is the part of the stream where we complain about not 
not getting our stuff for a long time. <laughs> a chained Echoes, that's it. Yes, Zane's dad also ordered Jet Cave. I, I knew you would. You guys are the only ones that ordered it. We were the only ones that ordered it. It'll probably never ship because they only sold two. Um, this chained echoes. When did I order that? That that was the game, chained echoes. Uh, January 26, 2023. So not that long. Um, <laughs> after three years, I'd forget entirely. They could just rob me. I mean, it's true. It's true. I mean, I have no idea. Uh, like how many games that are out there in the ether that I've like maybe pre-ordered? I mean, I don't know. Like I, I, I should probably take better, like, you know, pay more attention, but you know, you, especially in 2021, you're like buying this stuff and it's like, all right, well, I don't, it can't take it like, like longer than a year. Right. Right? And yet. I didn't think that anything that you ordered, a game that you pre ordered. I mean, I, I understand when it's like a longer special than a year. A special I mean, longer edition. than a year. You know, if it was just like, you know, if it, if it didn't, wouldn't, didn't already come out. You know, like I think about uh, what's this, this game that I backed on Kickstarter. I feel like it was a long time ago. This game called Bushiden. I mean, there's no guarantee for Kickstarter for sure. But but they've. I understand that there's no, there's nothing. You, you can't you can't tell with that, right? Mm -hmm. See, I didn't even realize this. And and I and I'm fine with it, where it's like, this game boosted in a futuristic ninja action platform. It looked really cool. Like you know, I will I will absolutely back that. I, I, I bet it's going to be cool. I, I bet it's going to be cool. Like, they've really, and they've, like, been talking about, like, doing, putting it in beta and every, all this other stuff. And, like, I understand that, like, there's no guarantee that anything Kickstarter, you might not get it. I just think it's very funny that I had no idea that I backed that Kickstarter in 2018. <laughs> in October of 2018. I'm sure it's going to be really good, though. Um, and that that's fine. Like like that's different than pre-ordering a physical copy of Crimson Clover, and it's still not not being here. Um, September twelfth. It's the uh, Crimson Clover World Explosion Edition. It's the World Explosion Nintendo Switch Regular Edition. Um, I mean, I, I see that stuff and like sometimes then I feel like, oh, the, uh, the wait for some of this stuff from limited run doesn't even seem that bad in no. comparison. I mean, I finally got my steel, uh, my steel assault from them and I got, I got my, um, my River City Girls 2 for the for the PS5. Uh, I'm wondering. I have not installed it. I wonder if it has that patch on it that that fixed where some certain assets were running at 30 FPS, right? Or like most most of the assets, like the game right. assets, were running at 30 FPS in in 60. Like and the game was running at 60, but the things were animating at 30, and it was right.
<laughs> video game. I feel like video game obsession and myself are all like we pre order the same things, and we always like talk about how certain things has not. I, you know, I it's surprising you say, you know, I uh, saying that people are getting their uh, Konami arcade collection in January, but mine hasn't even shipped yet. Kind of tired of that. I mean, I got my Switch standard copy, I want to say probably last fall. Orange Island for NES was funded nearly five years ago. It looks like a work on the NES version only just started last year. Like, how does it even get to that point? I, it is fun to kind of go back and look through old Kickstarters that you have backed. I always think about, um, what was it? The, like the, there's one game. It was uh, like a PS1, Soul Saga, I think it was called. They released the demo and then it just disappeared. Oh man, I might be about to die here. Cause I, it's hard to pay attention to to a segment where you're supposed to be thinking during a stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what did uh, Mr. Dot says like, how do you, you know, like this is why I've uh, stopped, you know, ordering things. Right away, I can't find the exact message. But, I mean, I get it. I think that a lot of this stuff, especially, like, with these, uh, like, limited availability games, you just got to put your faith in it that it will arrive eventually. But when it gets to be, like, four years, it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's a long time. Like, I... You know, I waited so long for that bro force from uh, from Special Reserve Games. I got it after, and and the same thing I got it, it with like with uh, Demon Throttle, right? I haven't even played them. <laughs> uh, the 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 excitement and interest is like long past. And what's what? On the upside, it's almost like you're getting a a special present that. You know, you paid for a long time ago, but you totally forgot about it. So it's a very, it's a pleasant surprise when something arrives. I gotta bro things up because I, you know, I can, I can play it, but. Christmas comes every day. Any day could be Christmas. <laughs> and you just, you have no idea. I don't know. I talk about this a lot, though. I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of, it, it kind of gets exhausting to keep track of it all. I mean, I've, I have certainly cut down on the, the amount of stuff that I have, have pre-ordered. And I think that in some cases, I'm like, you know, I only want I'm not going to buy this game just because uh, it's physical. You know? Just, like... I don't know. Just be okay with it. With uh, not having it physical eventually. <laughs> KG, I think that a ton of people got the Sega Smash Pack for Christmas. <laughs> and I guarantee you they, they, they probably are still laughing about it. Anytime they think about it. How many times you open the package to see a game and thought, what is this? When did I get this? And, you know, that happened with the two limited run uh, things I got this past week. And it was, you know, over a year ago. But that said, has anybody in the chat played that Berser Berserk Boy game on the, uh, I think it's just on the Switch right now. It might be on PC also. Is it uh, digital only? I think it is digital only. Currently. How much I also didn't it? realize that the sequel to uh, to the moon is on the eShop. It has been for a while. Wow, I can't believe I actually got all the stars. Thank you so much. 
much. on a complicated chapter like that while only half paying attention. Do the Moon is it was is great. I played that right before Final Fantasy because I was just playing some uh, like shorter games that were um, I don't know just very story driven that I couldn't lose at I guess. And uh, it was great. Yeah, I mean, you, I definitely felt it well enough at the end there. Uh, but I didn't realize that there's a, a sequel that is on the on the Switch right now. But I wonder if that's will get a physical as well. It's called like a to Paradise or something like that. I want to say To the Moon probably took it took me two evenings to finish. I was going to stop there, but it looks like I just unlocked another boss, so I may as well do that. Yeah. Beat it. It's in this door, the power of sparkle. Oh, I need to get that, uh, that Jeff Minter collection also. I, you know, I actually, um, I finally got, I was like, oh, um, d doing the, even though we don't, we mention it, but we don't really talk about it, um, Atari 50 in the, in the episode, but like, you know, I'd never gotten it. Like I just, it just been on the back, getting it would it just been on the back burner. Right. Mm -hmm. And I finally, Bye. when it was like while well, I was, I'm like, well, that's on my mind. I should get it. Um, I got the PS4 version. Did like the PS5 version is like rare. Of what? Atari 50. The PS5 version is rare. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I. I kind of uh, wanted to get the Switch version because it, you can. There's certain games that you can use the touchscreen. Ah. Uh, like the, uh, there's one where you. Uh, it's kind of like a Simon Says type thing, and you can play it with the. Uh, the touch screen. Well, I, I just assumed that the that the PlayStation versions had hmm. probably had or possibly had better video quality. Right, yeah. I, I have the I got the PS5 version. I didn't realize Does yeah, it have I, a free upgrade I could with not it I could not find a copy to buy that was at a price that was that seemed worth it. Wow. I mean, you know, considering the PS4 and Switch versions were much more affordable. Yeah. So I was just like, well, I'll get, I'll just get the PS4 version. It's not worth it. Does it have a free upgrade though? I don't know. I, I haven't put it in yet. Video quality of Switch is really good. Yeah, I mean, it, it was, it was. I was surprised. It was, it was better than I expected because I, I, I play it when I, when I visited with. Uh, with Gabe and Tony when I was in LA last year. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I played a little bit on Gabe's Switch. Do I have a way to play what? That's just saying, I just wonder, does Corey have a way to play? Way to play what? Oh, Atari on a projector. Uh, I could probably use like the pink 4K to run in. If I wanted to, but I, I, you know, I played the Atari 50 on the projector. I, <laughs> Man, I, I, I still sometimes that. think about that uh, that profile pic that you took from Atari 50. Oh, where they're all like, or, oh, oh like, oh, like what's 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 Corey doing? Yeah, what's going on? What's going on on Corey's PlayStation profile? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yay. That's interesting though. I did, did not realize that the PS5 version. I wonder if it's just I don't think it I bet it's not uh better in any particular way or anything. Maybe Yeah, I can't on, imagine uh, that version. No, the PS5 doesn't have uh themes. Whoa. No corn love on the PS5, unfortunately. 
<laughs> oh. oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, so the PS5 version, like that's the big thing is that it loads fast. Do the other ones have a longer load time? collection though. Uh, even if even if you don't care for some of the games, I think that just having that context is what makes it a lot more interesting. Yeah. And you might life. learn to like them once you have that context. What's that? You might even learn to like them when you hit when you do have that context. Yeah. yeah. PS5 version of Ninja Golf supports ray tracing. Yeah. You hear that? But it's good. It's 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 such a great collection. And uh, I just think it's really cool that they have figured out this you know, unique way of presenting these games in a way that uh, they, they seem to get a lot of joy out of as well. I like to eat, you know? That's the idea that they've had for a long time, I guess. And to finally do it in such a successful way, it's cool. Isn't this exactly the same as the Joker battle in Arkham Asylum? Ah, uh, can't say I remember it. Do you mean Scarecrow? Yeah, probably. It was like the Scarecrow segments. I can assure you it is not like the Joker battle in Batman Return of the Joker on NES, though. <laughs> <laughs> that battle is so weird. How would you rate this? Is it a C tier game? It's more like a D tier, I think. This puke inducing. <laughs> <laughs> no, th this game is honestly quite solid. I'm, uh, I'm, I am pretty pleased to tell you the truth. Like that, that detective chapter was, eh, it was a little more boring. I, I've enjoyed kind of the more actiony ones, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's not like amazing or anything, but it's I, I, I appreciate the variety. The mechanics are generally pretty fun. Um it's it's solid. Yeah. It is solid. It's uh didn't know what to expect and uh I'm um, pretty pretty pleased. This this is a it's a fifty dollar or a sixty dollar game, yeah. It's it's, it's the full price. But you you got got it in a buy two get one free right? Correct. Is that what you said. Correct. I mean that's that's like the best way to do it. I think. Exactly. Exactly. I think it might have been like it might have been like Mario RPG, Mario versus Donkey Kong, and this maybe. Yep, that's that's a pretty good lineup, I think. So. Yeah, I still gotta get that Mario versus Donkey Kong, and this, but I I will wait for you know buy two get one free and then get this with that yeah does it have a percentage complete uh i don't know if i Showtime. press the button does it say this is, uh, it says press a but really you can press any button a lot of times yeah like i've never I understood like on the switch on the uh on the wii u where they're trying to like make you press like both like l and r at the same time to like start a game they were like big on that for a minute yeah and and oftentimes you didn't have to do that right so what's the i, I just want to see how much it how much it costs uh what no the uh prince speech is 59.99 
Huh? No, 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 no. I, I want to look up the uh, what is it, Berserk Boy or whatever. It's yeah, called. it's it's. I think it's twenty. It's twenty. Uh, I think it's exactly twenty dollars. When I looked at it last night, it was exactly twenty dollars. Yeah. I don't super love the sprite style in it. Really, I think it looks pretty good. Like it looks fun to play in like the trailer I looked at. I don't know. Some some about the some about the sprite and background design is just like okay to me. But it does look fun to play. I I want to try real quick before before we stop. I want to try. I downloaded this uh, pepper grinder demo. I want to try this. Do you know? Have you seen you? You've probably seen like no. a. I've no, I've not seen anything of pepper grinder. Pepper grinder. It's it like kind of looks like vaguely drill dozer ass. I mean, it's probably the drill dozer comparison is probably very surface level. It 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 looks pretty neat. Oh, it's a devolver game. Oh, pepper grinder. Yeah, Strictly Limited is, not Strictly Limited, uh, Special Reserve has become, like, they're only doing Devolver games. And they've, like, changed uh, their name, like, Devolver Direct or something like that. Oh, wow, this is a little, a little loud. That pepper grinder. It's, like, coming out of his... <laughs> coming out of the skull's oh. mouth. That's quite loud. I'm going to turn it down. All right. All right, let's see. What this is like. Where are, where are the options? Jump, drill, grapple, auxiliary. Okay. Oops. I've not seen anything on this, so this is all all new to me. I I don't remember where I saw it, but. Maybe like maybe one of those indie directs or something or indie spotlight or whatever they call those. I feel like, um, like the partner spotlight. The, uh, oh, I saw a video game of such a thing. I want a physical console version of pizza tower. We need this. I, uh, John and I were trying that on, uh, he hadn't booted it up before. We were trying that on his steam deck and it's, it's, it's kind of awesome. Uh, pizza tower. Yeah. Have you, I, I don't have you seen know, anything like, on like, it? For some reason, what? I, I mean, I don't know. I've heard the name before. I don't know what it looks like, but the it's, name kind of annoys me. It's, it's, oh, wow. Look at how those, uh, the way those little bridge planks animated was kind of cool. Uh, it's like, no like, it's, metal. it's basically, it's like, mouse like, two. like, imagine, imagine, uh, Wario Land 4. It's like basically war. It's like basically Wario Land, Wario Land's gameplay merged with Sonic, uh, with like Toe Jam and Earl graphics on acid. <laughs> like it is like okay. There's like these. Like this is a, a, a functionally the per, the fulfills the role of pipes in Mario. There's like a cardboard box of pizza slices, and you like jump on top of that and press down, and you like you just like like go through this cardboard box of soggy pizza slices, and then like warp to like coming out of a an upside down cardboard box of pizza slices. It's, it's, uh, it's something it's, it, it, it is. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how to describe it other than warrior lane four and Sonic on drugs. It's, yeah. it's, it's messed up and kind of awesome. This looks pretty cool. I, I can appreciate that. This is trying to do here. I 
I do have Drill Dozer. I've not really played it though. It's pretty neat. I like Drill Dozer. You know, you know what this makes me think a little bit of for some reason is, uh, I mean, it's it's not really that similar, but for some reason it makes me think a little bit of uh, Grapple Dog. Oh, yeah. Remember Grapple Dog? That 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 was that was the stream where we started comparing everything to Fuse. I mean, this is I totally I don't, I don't, different. I don't, I don't, from I'm, not, I'm not seeing any pepper around. I don't know. Maybe your I'm character's name, name pepper. is Pepper. Is her name Pepper? I don't know. Maybe. That'd be that. Uh, that's the only, that's the only reason for it. Need some pepper on it. Wait, what? I can. Hit your B button. You gotta do something with my B button. Launch ya. Let's launch over it. Oh, I see. You just kind of do like a little bit of a charge. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. It looks cool, but at the same time, I do feel like this sort of style of, uh, of, of graphics is, like, starting to get a little played out. Mm. Is, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. In some ways, actually, this style almost makes me think more of, um... Uh... Sort of like Pixel Junk, um... Pixel yeah, Junk Shooter? Say, yeah, I was going to say Pixel, Pixel Junk Shooter is what it was kind of reminding me of. No, I'm not too tired. I had a uh, stop at the record store earlier today and got a, they have a coffee shop in there and got a, an Americano. Yeah, probably way too late than I should have in the day, but I did. Uh, what, what is, what is, what is that? That's that, big. That is big. Look, oh, look, oh, in the background, look at that. <laughs> That's big. I, I, it was a, it was, it was a big copy, big copy, but you know, like I, I don't feel uh, any less tired because of it. Oh, come on. Drill pogoing off those. Uh, Jamie White, this is Pepper Grinder. It's a demo. It would be better if, if it was called Pepper Grinder and the main character was Pepper Cho from Clockwork Knight. <laughs> Pepper, Pepper Chow, Pepper, Pepper Chow. Or <laughs> It, it's cool, like, you know. I also, like, I just wonder. I look at this and I think, like, oh, it'd be really fun to play. But I also think that it, it's, it's the kind of game that I bet you it's so long that it definitely, like, wears out as welcome. Who knows? It's definitely cool, doesn't though. Doesn't it just seem like it seems like the kind of game that would go on for too long? <laughs> I don't know. Is that like, I mean, is that something you think about when you look at games and you're like, oh, this looks like a game that probably is way too long? 
I have no I, I have no idea how long this is. <laughs> Yeah. But that, that's, I, I mean, I, I enjoyed that. I, w I would yeah. consider a physical copy of that. Yeah. I'm sure that you'll be able to get it. You suck at Parky is that same kind of game, Corey. Like, it just goes on for too long. Wait, what game? You suck at parking. Like, it maybe is just. It's about, it, it's, it's about twice as long as it needs to be. Maybe. I mean, I, I have no concept really of how long that game actually is because the version yeah. we have has like <laughs> DLC content included. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, it depends on if you uh, vary gameplay later on, different drill abilities or other mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it just like a lot of times I will see games like that and think like, oh, this this feels like the kind of game they probably... I just would really want it to end after a certain point <laughs> and then you're only halfway through or something. All right. Well, I guess that will do it. All right. Well, uh, thanks to everybody who donated this week and everybody who hung out for the long haul tonight. Yeah, that was fun. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Yeah. And, Stay uh, out of trouble. Yeah. And look for a video before next week's stream. Yes. Friday or Saturday, probably. Heck yeah. All right. Good night.